Good Tuesday afternoon. Welcome to the Voice of Ocala. I am Tom Schmitz coming to you live from the palatial studios of WOCA Radio at the entrance to the what Joe Martone commonly refers to as the WOCA Commissary. You would know it as the food court. This is the Voice of Ocala on a Tuesday, an overcast Tuesday. Looks like it wants to rain. Looks like it's threatening to rain. It's trying to rain. And we need the rain. So I'm not really upset that it's trying to do all those things. It is hurricane season, so uh, make sure you go out and find a way to get prepared for Hurricane Joe Reichel. I heard his show earlier today. Uh, damage control earlier on Larry and Robin on AMO Cal Alive. He was talking about hurricane preparedness, some great tips about insurance and a way to lessen your insurance cost. I'm going to ask Angie Lewis about those Thursday when we talk to her on uh, Thursday, on Throwback Thursday, when Angie Lewis makes her weekly appearance here on the show. I do want to tell you about a giveaway we're doing. It's the Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club summer membership to the tennis and spa facilities. If you would like to be a member, we're giving away a free membership to the tennis and spa facility. Giving it away May June 10th in a 3.30 drawing right here on WOCA, the Voice of Ocala. If you would like to enter into this contest, go to Buddy Martin, the Voice of Ocala Facebook page. That's Buddy Martin, comma, the Voice of Ocala Facebook page. Scroll down till you find the post about Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club summer membership for tennis and spa. It's about three posts down, four posts down. Say, I'd like to be a member. And you're registered in the drawing that will be held June 10th at 3.30 in the afternoon. And we're giving away a summer membership to Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club's tennis and spa facilities. Therosian, his staff do a great job over there at the tennis and spa facility. He teaches, um, he, he's a great tennis instructor. They have championship tennis facilities, champ- f- fantastic spa facilities, and you could be a member of, e- of both of those, the tennis and spa facilities, just by going on to the Voice of Ocala Facebook page, Buddy Martin, the Voice of Ocala Facebook page, and saying I would like to be a member on the Golden Ocala post for the tennis and spa membership and you you get you, you're registered that easy we already gave away a golf membership now we're giving away a tennis and spa membership brought to you by the fine folks at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club I was noticing today as I was riding around town that Traffic seems to be not as stagnant as it once was. Usually when the snowbirds are here, traffic is very, very difficult. It's very difficult to maneuver. You have to, you have to work around the, the, the traffic and the, the, the lots of people on the road, and you have to come up with alternatives to get places. But today I was riding around at the lunchtime hour, and maybe I just got lucky. But it doesn't seem as there's this, it's not stagnant traffic, but there was a steady flow more than I remember in June's past. And I think that ties right back into what Kevin Sheely from the Chamber of Economic Partnership that was here yesterday ties into what he says. There are more people that are staying in town because there are being more jobs created in our town. And I would love to be able to say that some of our local politicians had a hand in that, but as you know, I've been very vocal about my displeasure in some of the decisions made by our local politicians, especially at the county level. And now I'm hearing rumors, you hear things, you hear people talk, that it's going to be a very exciting election cycle coming up. Quite a few people have thrown their name into the hat already to run for county commission seats. 
Stan McLean, Commissioner Stan McLean, is going to be vacating his seat as he runs for a state Senate, a state representative seat. There are already numerous names in the hat for that. I hear there are other names that are going to be thrown in the hat running against uh, other incumbents. And I think shakeup's good. I think at this point, shakeup is needed in our community. I think that on a whole, the, com- the county commissioners let us down. And I know some people say, what do you mean, Tom? They hadn't raised taxes. No, no, they haven't. But I don't think they've been very good. Um, I don't think they've been very good at making sure that we fiscally stay responsible, but we don't slack off on the needs of everyday management of life in this county. I think they've been very fiscally responsible, without a doubt. But I think because of that fiscal responsibility, they've been irresponsible in taking care of some of the physical needs of the county. You can't argue fiscally, monetarily, they've been very much nose to the grindstone, trim the fat. But I think in some places they've allowed so much fat to go away that now we have serious problems. Our roadways being one of them. I travel on the roads in the county quite extensively. I live in the county. I'm out there quite a bit riding the roads in the county. Out where I live, just as an example, out where I live. 225A, uh, 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 um, 326, uh, some of the the, the ex- bridges and streets that go back behind um, in the Zuber area and the Reddick area through Reddick Baptist Church and all, all in that area. Kendrick, there's some roads that go through Kendrick. These roads are crumbling and falling apart and are really dangerous for you to drive on. Hey, but we hadn't raised any taxes. We have dangerous roadways that we cannot fix because we don't have the money or the wherewithal to do so. But hey, we didn't raise any taxes. Our infrastructure is falling apart in this county. And our county commissioners say, yeah, well, hey, we didn't raise taxes, though, so vote for me. I think this is irresponsible at its core. And I've heard that other people agree that it's irresponsible and that there are going to be some serious bids to run against the incumbents that will be up for election come the election cycle. I think it is imperative that we take a serious look at all those involved and make informed decisions. Not decisions based on, oh, they said no more taxes. Government, huge, big, out-of-control government is a problem, without a doubt. But you got to pay for the county, the stuff the county needs somehow. And sometimes, an you, you ask for a raise at work, don't you? Why do you ask for a raise at work? Because you need that extra money to pay for your home and your car and everything like that. That's basically what taxes are, if done properly. They're a raise for for work to be done. When you go to your employer, you're taxing your employer by getting a raise. That's what you're doing. Your employer is having to pay more money to you in the form of a paycheck because you asked for a raise. Well, that's what taxes do. Taxes ask for a raise. But you don't go in and say, I need a raise of three times of what I'm making now. 
Because if you go in and say, I need three times as much as I need now, no, you're not getting a raise and I may fire you. But if you go in and say, look, I need a dollar more an hour, I may consider that because it may help my business in the long run to pay you that extra dollar an hour. I may only be able to give you 50 cents an hour. But every now and then a raise is needed. And every now and then, whether you like it or not, increasing taxes are needed. Not a bunch. I would say if somebody said, hey, we want to increase taxes by three cent. No, 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 no. What are you, a nut bag? We don't need a three percent. We don't need a three cent increase. But if you want to do a one cent sales tax, or you want to do a one cent increase, so we could do something about the structure of the roads, our roads, and everything. If you wanted to raise the bed tax, which is paid mostly by people that don't live here in Marion County, I'm okay with that. But as soon as somebody says raise taxes, the blue hairs get all up in arms, and because the blue hairs go to the voting box, and we, as people under the age of fifty, don't go to the voting box. The people who are in charge pander to them, and they don't want any more taxes because they live, I understand that, you live on a set income, and taxes are detrimental to the, your way of life. Without a doubt, I understand it. But the reality of life is you have to somehow have taxes to pay for things. And I think the county commission has been irresponsible in how they've handled the juggling of that fine line of what is too much tax and what's not enough. I think they've been irresponsible in what is how they've handled that line. They've been fiscally responsible because they hadn't done anything. They've listened to all the people over 65 who said, we don't want taxes raised. The reality is you got to raise taxes every now and then. Just don't raise them to an exorbitant amount and then set a deadline where they go away. Set a, sun, set a sunset time on it. Well, you raise the sales tax one, per, one cent for five or six years and then let it go away. Coming up on today's show, it's Trivia Nated Tuesday with Tom. Your chance to win a myriad of items. We've got Mojo's gift cards. We've got gift cards of La Famiglia, Pizzeria, Bob Wines, Camellia Gardens. We have golf to give away from Ocala Golf Club, and we have movie tickets to the Mary, Historic Marion Theater. All that coming up next. Your chance to win, 622-9622 is the number. Give us a call, 622-9622 for your chance to win. Trivia Tuesday with Tom, 4 o'clock, the restaurant and food show. Dave Del Rio, Chef Dave Del Rio of Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill will be here along with our special guest today, uh, some fine folks from Mojo's Grill and Catering Company. We'll tell you about who they are coming up a little later in this show. And then in the 5 o'clock hour, Michael Compton. Well, Michael Compton is not going to be able to make it. That's right. Michael Compton will not be able to make it today um, on the restaurant. I mean, on the sports show, he he had to cancel on us. But he, he will be back later this week to talk the Belmont Stakes, which is coming up this Saturday. And Joe Williams, the irascible one from Denver, he'll be on with us as well. All that on today's Voice of Ocala, right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The source. When you were a kid, you had all sorts of toys. Toy cars, boats, trucks, entire toy boxes full of fun. Of course, you never really outgrow your toys, do you? It's just that now, instead of a box full, you have a garage full. Cars, trucks, boats, motorcycles, ATVs, and more. As you get older, your love of toys just gets stronger. So protect those toys the best way possible by switching to Allstate. An Allstate agent can help do the switching, paperwork, bundle all your policies together, and even find you a bunch of discounts. So if you love your toys, make sure you protect your toys by making one call to an Allstate agent. Protect all your toys with Allstate and the McDonald Agency. Established in 1985, we have offices in Ocala and the Villages to better serve you. Give us a call at 622-2333. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Are you in good hands?
Right on the southwestern corner of the square sits one of the finest dining establishments in Florida, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood Restaurant. Mark's offers big city dining amenities in a charming and small town setting. It's a rare treat to experience both the ambiance and the exquisite cuisine in a friendly atmosphere. Ocala's finest restaurant serves the finest beef, the freshest seafood, premium wines, and naturally fresh vegetables. From valet parking to splendid service, Mark's offers the complete package. Check it out today. Mark's Prime Seafood and Steakhouse Restaurant. The next drink is on Dave Del Rio at Eaton Pete Sandbar and Grill. Just ask him for it. But don't wait. Show up soon because this offer isn't going to last very long. Eaton Pete Sandbar and Grill will be filling up fast because their friends from the north are headed back that way soon. The good news is that seating is now available and Dave's buying the first drink. If you've been hearing about the crowd at Eaton Pete Sandbar and Grill and couldn't get in, now you can see firsthand what your friends have been talking about. Great food. Try Chef Dave's tantalizing Florisiana menu. Great location. Check out those gorgeous sunsets over Lake Weir. Great people. Starting with Chef Dave Del Rio, who began his career in 1978. This spicy guy has been instrumental in opening over 100 restaurants. And he's buying you a drink. Eat and Speed Sandbar and Grill, where there's little or no waiting these days. Come see what started out as Jay Eaton's dream almost 90 years ago. It's more awesome than ever. A xylophone sounds dreamy. Yeah, they don't make them like this anymore, Robin. I'm shipping it to the Musical Historical Society. And you're packing it like that? What, this won't work? Why don't you take it to the Personal Service Center at the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street in Ocala? Just look for the yellow signs. Great idea. That'll save me a lot of time. The passing of time. <laughs> <laughs> Personal Service Center makes sending packages easy. And quick. Call 789-6683. For the Personal Service Center. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy, never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results and all but given up on my sex life. Then I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala. I'm Tom Schmidt, coming to you from the palatial studios of WOCA Radio at the Paddock Mall. It is Trivia Tuesday with Tom. Your chance to win. I'm going to give away a free round of golf at Ocala Golf Club. Matter of fact, I'll give two rounds of golf away. Two rounds of golf at Ocala Golf Club. You just have to answer two trivia questions right. If you get them right, you're the winner. First trivia question I ask you, you get you call in to 622-9622, you get it right. I'll ask you a follow-up question, you get it right, you're a winner. Actor Michael Keaton took the name last name Keaton to avoid confusion with what other acting Michael? Actor Michael Keaton took the last name Keaton to avoid confusion with what other acting Michael? If you know that answer, give me a call, 622-9622 for your chance to win. Hi, caller, who's this? Yes, sir. Hey, who's this? Trying to get a trivia? Yeah. Uh, this is Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Kevin, this is for two rounds of golf. You answer this question right. You, follow, you get a follow-up question. You ask it right. 
you're a winner. Question one, actor Michael Keaton took the last name Keaton to avoid confusion with what other acting Michael? Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas is correct. Answer the second question, you'll win two rounds of golf at Ocala Golf Club. What product does Vince show me claim you can will make you say wow every time? What product does Vince show me claim will make you say wow every time? Hmm. Five can seconds. You, can you repeat that name again? Who? Vince Show Me. Vince Show Me? Yep. Two seconds. Uh, I need an answer. Man, I, I, I'm lost. Man. Oh, I'm all right. Lost. All right. <laughs> Thanks for playing today. All right. Thanks a lot, Tom. Yep. 622-9622 for your chance to win. Trivinated Tuesday with Tom. The question out there, what product does Vince Show Me claim will make you say wow every time? If you know that answer, give me a call. 622-9622 for your chance to win. Vince Show Me, S-H-L-O-M-I. What product does Vince Show Me claim will make you say wow every time? If you know that answer, give me a call. 622-9622 for your chance to win. Hey, speaking of winning, you'll have your chance of winning a free um, tennis and spa membership to Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club. If you would like a chance to win that, go to the Buddy Martin Voice of Ocala Facebook page. Find the post concerning the membership possibilities of winning a membership for the tennis and golf facility. Uh, go down in the comment section and say, I'd like to win. I'd like to enter. I'd like a membership. Anything along those lines, you'll be entered to win a free summer membership to Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club's tennis and spa facility. We're going to have that drawing June 10th at 3.30 in the afternoon right here on WOCA, The Source. Let's go right up to the phone lines. Hi, caller. Who's this? CJ. Hey, CJ. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I know you're out there listening all the time. I just never get a, get, get a call from you every now and then. <laughs> hey, for you, sir. how's our mutual friend in Daytona doing? Ah, uh, she's doing well. She's doing real well. I'm uh, going to be hanging out with her tomorrow. It's about time, you, about time she comes back and hangs out with us uh, on a Friday Friday night or a Saturday afternoon at uh, our favorite hangout over there uh, across from Ocala Municipal. I won't say the oh, name. Yeah. I won't say the name of the place on the air because you know I don't want to say tilted killed on the air. So you know I won't do that. <laughs> CJ, what product does Vince Show Me claim will make you say wow every time? I'm going to guess Sham Wow. Sham Wow is correct. Make you say what? Well, that guy was so irritating, wasn't he? Yes, he was. I mean, I almost wanted to buy it just so he would, they'd stop. If I buy this, will you promise I don't have to watch that infomercial anymore? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What broad? This is one right up your alley, CJ. I think you you get this right away. All right. <laughs> what Broadway musical features the music of ABBA? No way. <laughs> no, I, I, there's no way. <laughs> Five uh, seconds. Uh, let's go, uh, uh, babes and dolls. Uh, babes, babes and, and a- babes and Toyland. Not the answer, CJ. But I am uh, gonna I'm gonna I am gonna uh, hold you to having our mutual friend come over and hang out with us one weekend. All right, sounds like a plan, Tom. All right, CJ, have a good day, buddy. 622-9622 is your chance to win two tickets, two rounds of golf to Ocala Municipal. One more time, got time for one more quick caller. Hot caller, who's this? Hello, caller, who's this? Hello? Who's this caller? Hello? Hello there? Well, I guess they can't hear us out there. Give us a call back, caller. We got to go to break. Call us back, uh, 622-9622. It is Trivinated Tuesday with Tom. Your chance to win two rounds of golf at Ocala Municipal Golf Club. If you know the answer to the following question, you answer it right, you get another one. What Broadway musical features the music of ABBA? 622-9622. We'll take your calls on the other side of the break. You're listening to The Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The source.
Does osteoarthritis bring frustration with every step? Do pain and stiffness affect your everyday activities? If so, you may be interested in a research study for the treatment of pain associated with osteoarthritis. Rentstar Medical Research is conducting a research study of an investigational medication for individuals between the ages of 40 and 75 and who have been treated for the pain associated with osteoarthritis for at least three months. Qualified participants will receive study-related medical care and investigational medication. Compensation for time and travel will be provided. To learn more about this osteoarthritis study, please call Renstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. Again, that's 352-629-5800. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey Checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. Whenever you're searching for an attorney, you want somebody with knowledge who has a commitment to our community and our state. Such is the case with Daniel L. Hightower, PA Lawyer. In everything from car and other motor vehicle accidents, work accidents, personal injury, and wrongful death cases. Daniel L. Hightower also handles Social Security disability and bankruptcy. Call him today at 352-629-7777 or check out danhightower.com. Daniel L. Hightower, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. A surprise move from the most powerful man in soccer. In le football. FIFA president Sepp Blatter announcing his resignation, saying he'll go as soon as a successor can be chosen. He was only re-elected on Friday. The decision to quit comes less than a week after U.S. authorities arrested seven soccer officials in Switzerland for corruption. Fox Radio Simon Owen, California appears to be doing better with conserving water after an order by the governor. The state decreased its water use by 13.5% in April compared to the same month last year. Last month, numbers revealed that in March, Californians had only cut water use by a little less than 4%. Fox Radio's Jessica Rosenthal and two St. Louis men have admitted they planned a bomb attack targeting the Ferguson, Missouri police chief and other officials following the killing of Michael Brown last summer by a white officer. Fox News, we report you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. A man told his wife he only wanted a nice card this Father's Day. So she went to Golfsmith and got the new tailor-made arrow burner iron set and a free $100 gift card. He was overwhelmed by the thoughtfulness of the card and couldn't really blame her for keeping the irons for herself. Hurry into Golfsmith from now until June 28th and get a free gift card of up to $100 when you purchase a new tailor-made arrow burner club. Golfsmith, anything for golf. Your local pharmacist is also a Health Mart pharmacist, and they're not like other pharmacists. After mom's surgery, I was overwhelmed, but I was so relieved. Her Health Mart pharmacist was there to help. They explained her medication and even delivered to her house. Mom got the personal service she needed, and I got something even better. Peace of mind. Visit healthmart.com to find a locally owned Health Mart pharmacy near you. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. For generation after generation, America's heroes have been fighting for our freedoms. And it's those freedoms that have allowed us here at Mike Scott Plumbing to prosper and grow in this great land of ours. At Mike Scott Plumbing, we help thousands of customers every day with everything from irrigation to repairing the kitchen sink. But if there's one thing that absolutely positively needs to be maintained, it's your septic system. If you don't maintain your septic system, it could fail completely, leaving you with a big bill and an even bigger mess. So we here at Mike Scott Plumbing would like to help all of those who have helped us. If you have your septic pumped and you're a veteran, we would like to extend to you a special discount. Just mention this ad. Please call our office to schedule your appointment today, 866-314-4443. And from all of us here at Mike Scott Plumbing, thank you for your service.
custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printed shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot facility. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will assist you in every part of your custom purchase. LTS carries the hottest brands in the industry like Under Armour, Russell, Mizuno, Asics, Badger Sports, Gildan, Pacific, Ogeo, and many more. At LTS, screen printing embroidery is done in-house and we guarantee customer satisfaction. Stop by, give us a call, or check us out on the web at shoplts.com. Remember the name, LTS. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala. Let's go right out to the phone lines. Hanging on patiently through the break, Linnell. Hi, Linnell. How are you today? I'm just great. Thank you. Linnell, what Broadway musical featured the music of ABBA? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia is correct. Mamma Mia is correct. And I'm Broadway. You answer this second one right, Linnell. You're going to win two free rounds of golf at Ocala Municipal Golf Club. Now, let me ask you, Linnell, are you a golfer? No, but I have a whole bunch in my family. I'd love to give it to them. <laughs> well, there you go. All right, let's try to get a, get it for them then. What is the antonym of antonym? Opposite. Oh, I mean, dang it. <laughs> no, I needed the word that was the antonym I of know. antonym. <laughs> Thanks, Linnell, for playing Trivia Tuesday with Tom. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little upset. Remember, if you've already called in once today, you don't get a second try for Trivia Nader Tuesday with Tom, but thanks for calling in originally. 622-9622, your chance to win. If you know the antonym of the word antonym, give me a call, 622-9622 for your chance to win. You can only try once a day, though, to win. If you haven't won in the last 30 days, you are eligible. 622-9622. Two rounds of golf at Ocala Golf Club up for grabs. We also have Mojo's gift cards to give away, La Famiglia Pizzeria gift cards to give away, um, tickets to the Marion Theater to give away, and also Bob Wine's Comedy Garden. Hi, caller. Who's this? This is Kevin. Uh, hi, Kevin. How are you today? Doing great. Hi, right, Kevin. What... Um, what is the antonym of antonym? Synonym. Synonym is correct. That is the antonym of antonym. <laughs> she knew that and just she got mixed up and couldn't get it out. All right, uh, the answer, answer this next one. What Republican figure has been referred to as the architect? What Republican figure has been referred to as the architect? Five seconds. Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is not correct. Thanks for playing today, though. Tribute to Tuesday with Tom. 622-9622. What Republican is referred to, has been referred to as the architect? If you know that answer, give me a call. 622-9622 for your chance to win two rounds of golf to the Ocala Golf Club. That's Muni to those of us who play regularly. It's right there on 40. Silver Springs Boulevard, depending on, you know, whether you think it's 40 or Silver Springs Boulevard. It's on both of those. It's the same road. Ping, Dave Pingalore will be on with us today at 515. Buddy Martin just texted me, so that's good to know as well. Right here on the Voice of Ocala. Let's go back out to the phone lines. Hi, caller. Who's this? Hey, Thomas Tom. Hey, Tom. How are you? Doing good. Tom, what Republican figure has been referred to as the architect? Carl Rove. Carl Rove is correct. Carl Rove is correct. Now, if you get this question right, you'll win two rounds of golf to Ocala Golf Club. Muni, right there on 40. Now, are you a golfer, Tom? Uh, not really, but I can give it a try. Okay. 
What actress? Well, I can give them to you. I can give them to you and let you play. I, 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 I'm pretty set on golf, but thanks for the thought. What yeah. actress or what actress of the 50s and 60s were referred to as the professional virgin? Wow, that's more up your alley than mine. Five seconds. Professional virgin. Um, Sally Field. That is incorrect. Incorrect, but thanks for playing Trivia Day Tuesday with Tom. Thanks, Tom. 622-9622, if you know the answer to that question, what actress of the 50s and 60s was referred to as the professional virgin? 622-9622, if you know the answer, your chance to win two rounds of golf at Ocala Municipal Golf Course, Ocala Golf Club, run by Billy Casper Golf, Chris Halley, Jason. Um, they do a great job out there with their staff. Brooke just took over as food and beverage manager. They're doing great, great things. And believe me, if you hadn't had a chance, get out there and get that steak and cheese sandwich I got out there. They got a steak and cheese sandwich out there. It's pretty good. I go out there to eat it for lunch every now and then. It's a pretty good sandwich. 622-9622, Trinity Native Tuesday with Tom. What actress of the 50s and 60s was referred to as the professional virgin? If you know that answer, give me a call, 622-9622. I saw this story Uh, on the AP, on the wire. This is out of Washington Township, New Jersey. Local high school graduation has set a dress code. It said that their policy states that at graduation, you can't wear jeans, shorts, or T-shirts. You have to wear a collared shirt. That's not all that unusual. I mean, it's a big day. Graduation, you want to look your best. You know, you got the cap and gown and everything. So you should, you know, no jeans, no shorts, no wife beater t-shirts. I agree with that. Only problem is this dress code is for the parents. That's right. Parents could be turned away from the local high school graduation if they aren't wearing appropriate clothing. A recent school board meeting in Washington Township, the graduation dress code was discussed. That discussion made its way to social media, and just like that, there's a controversy now. Policy states no jeans, shorts, or T-shirts are allowed. Collared shirts are required. Slacks and, and uh, slacks, dress pants, and skirts for men and women. The district told Fox's 29's Bill Anderson the policy isn't new. It just gained steam on social media. We believe the dress code helps provide an appropriate atmosphere for this very special occasion, and setting standards is an important of what an education should provide. The graduation is out on the football field in late June, which contributed to some questioning, no shorts or T-shirt policy, but the district said the policy isn't going anywhere and they're making sure word gets out so nobody gets turned away. Most people think the district is overstepping, saying we're parents, we don't need guidance. I don't necessarily know that I need a school board to tell me how I could dress to go to my child's graduation. I would wear a collared shirt and slacks, but... Not real sure I need them to tell me I need to do that. Hi, caller. Who's this? This is Kevin again. I'm going to give it another try, man. Uh, you can only call in. You can only give it one try a day, Kevin, but thanks. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Yep, thanks right, for thanks. calling. 622-9622, your chance to win. Triminated Tuesday with Tom. Question out there right now is what actress of the 50s and 60s was referred to as the professional virgin? If you know that answer, you get it right. I'll follow up with a follow-up question. You get that second question right, and you'll be a winner of two rounds of golf at Ocala Municipal Golf Club. I was talking about this story out of Washington Township where the school board has put out an edict, although they say it's not a new edict, but it's always been this way, that tells parents how they should dress to come to graduation. And I'm okay with that, but what about lower-income families? that maybe jeans are the only clothing they have because they work, you know, the kind of jobs where jeans are what you wear to work. So that's their entire clothing line. What do you say to that mom and dad? They put on a clean collared shirt and a pair of jeans. What do you say? They got a nice button up on, tucked in, look all nice and everything. Got on a very clean pair of blue jeans. What do you say to them? Nice pair of dress shoes, you know, as nice as they could have clean pair of jeans and a button-up shirt, you're going to tell me they can't come to their child's graduation because they have on blue jeans? Seems to me this is school board way overstepping its bounds. 
And I understand you don't want show. I don't want. I understand you don't want shorts and you don't want tank tops and all. There's got to be some sort of dress code. But if you come in a nice pair of jeans and a button-up shirt or a golf collar, a collared golf shirt, you know, squared away and everything, I, I think that the school board's overstepping its bounds by saying no jeans would be allowed either. And in the heat of the summer, I mean. They're making great wick golf shirts now, though, that aren't that hot, so you can get away with those. But not everybody can afford those. Most everybody has T-shirts they can afford. So, I, you know, I think it's the day for the children. The children are up on stage and everything. I don't think it's the place of the Washington Township in New Jersey to tell me as an adult how I should dress to come to my child's graduation. But, you know, I'm not as smart as other people, so maybe it's just I'm seeing this wrong. But, you know... They, the school board says that policy isn't going anywhere. So, if the policy's not going anywhere, you have to adhere to it or don't go to your child's graduation. It is Tribunated Tuesday with Tom. 622-9622. Your chance to win two rounds of golf to Ocala Golf Club. If you would like to win, you have to answer two trivia questions. The first trivia question is, what actress of the 50s and 60s was referred to as the professional virgin. I'll take your calls after the break, but right now, let's go out and talk to Buddy Martin. Buddy, hi. How are you today? Hey, Tom, I think I asked you the dress code for um, the radio show. Um, Mid ball overalls, no shirt, and barefoot. So I can dress like Scott Brantley used to dress when he was in college at Florida. Yeah, kind of like uh, <laughs> and you know, yeah, I, uh, I'm with you on that. I think it's you dress the best you can, and uh, I don't think you can tell they can't wear sandals. I, I, I don't so think I don't think any parent's going to purposely come in the worst clothes they own to their kid's graduation. No, of course not. So it sounds like they're going to a country club instead of a graduation. You know. Well, I, I see nothing wrong as I'm wearing right now: a nice pair of tennis shoes, a pair of jeans, and a nice golf shirt. Well, you come along. I would say that you, you stiffed up nicely. I won't say anything about his name, but Jennifer, just to say it, okay? Yeah, well, you, you, you around quite a bit. Well, so. actually, she just does my laundry on a regular basis. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh-huh. I'll be careful how I say that. Or you'll be. Uh, I'll be doing my own laundry. I know. I know. My own laundry, exactly right. Then we'll be back to the way I used to look. I don't think we want that exactly. either. Hey, no, we don't want that. Buddy, strolling by the window right now, Chef Dave Del Rio strolling by the window right now. How about that? Dave Del Rio. He's he's ready to go today. He's the star of the show. He's the man. Uh, and we're going to have, uh, uh, Dave, I've got a list of the 50th, 50 top restaurants in the world. I will bet you a dollar you've never heard of more than one of them. And, mo- and hardly any are in the U.S. Uh, and what do you find out what? They're, they made in a Tampa restaurant, made tacos, the meat they use. You won't believe it. I can give you 10 guesses of what meat they put in there. It's not domestic animal, by the way. What wild animal meat they put in this taco? I mean, this caused an outrage. Never heard of something like this. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll tell you about a little restaurant experience I had last week, uh, local place I went and uh, tried something new. So all that plus David Del Rio. Well, be, well, listen, I believe we got some special guests. I believe we got Rondo coming in. No, no, Rondo's, Rondo's actually not going to be able to. He's he's with his father, but we're going to have uh, two of his managers, Sunshine Keegan and uh, Becky Johns, both uh, in upper management with Mojo's. They'll be coming in. Well, they got to be bringing food. Don't you think they'll be bringing food? I hope they're bringing I hope somebody's bringing food, but I always hope somebody <laughs> brings food. There you go. All right, Tom, I'll get off here. I'm on the way in. I'll see you in a minute. All right, Buddy Martin, on his way in for the restaurant and food show. We'll take a break. Wrap up hour number one after this. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Are you one of those golfers that use the dot-coms to try to find the best deal available every day of the week? Well, why use a middleman? For $100, you can be a summer member at Pine Oaks of Ocala. And what do you get with your Pine Oaks membership? Well, you get to play all the golf that you want in the afternoons, and all you do is pay the cart fee. $8 $8 for 9 holes or $12 for 18 holes. This is the golf deal of the summer. Don't miss it. That's the $100 summer membership at Pine Oaks of Ocala. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. 
got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust, Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of auto check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige, it's all there in our name. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hirschberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. Local Graphics would like to invite you to their second location on 200 next to Sunny's Barbecue. They are officially open to help you out with all your sign, vehicle, wraps, and printing needs. Visit them and mention this ad for free business cards. Need a logo? We've got you covered. From business cards all the way to menus and flyers. Now two locations to better serve you. On Maricamp, half a mile east from Forest High School. And on 200 by Sunny's Barbecue. Local Graphics, impacting your customers. Like us on Facebook. If you're a man who deworms with Synanthic, your boots probably look as good as this sounds. But if you're a man who doesn't use Synanthic, then your boots undoubtedly look as terrible as this. Because only Synanthic delivers the ultimate in parasite protection with low volume and less waste. So dewormer goes only where it's supposed to, and not in your boots. Synanthic is also fast, which means less handling time, less stress on your cattle, and less mess for you. So you can deworm more efficiently with less dewormer. And with peak blood absorption in only 20 hours, Synanthic blows away the competition and keeps working longer than the leading brand. Be a Synanthic man and get more deworming done with less dewormer. Visit your local animal health supplier and pick up Synanthic today. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. You're listening to WOCA Ocala. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala. Wrapping up hour number one. We've got about three minutes left, so still a chance to take in one or two more calls, depending on how good they are. 622-9622 for your chance to win. The question out there right now, what actress of the 50s and 60s was referred to as the professional virgin? If you know that answer, give me a call. 622-9622 for your chance to win two rounds of golf at Ocala Golf Club. Chef Dave Del Rio, he'll be in at the 4 o'clock hour, along with Buddy Martin for the Restaurant and Food Show, along with guest Becky Johns and Sunshine Keegan of Mojo's Grill and Catering. They'll be in talking all restaurant for the hour. Buddy said that uh, there's uh, some sort of wild game meat that was put in tacos in Tampa that people really didn't w- weren't happy with. We'll find out what that is. Plus, um, I had a food experience over the weekend that I was very, very proud of, very happy with. And uh, I'll tell you about that. Plus, Buddy has some of his own, I'm sure. Chef Del Rio will tell us about the goings-on at Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill. that's coming up as the summer gets here. Summer's 21 days away now, 20 days away. But it's summer like now. You can go enjoy the fun in the sun at Eaton's Beach on every weekend. You can go out today, actually. Out, sit, sit out there in the nice overcast. If sun's not what you like, you can sit out there with the overcast and have a good time at Eaton's Beach down in the uh, sandbar or up in the restaurant. 
622-9622, your chance to win two rounds of golf at Ocala Golf Club. Got about 20 seconds left. I can take a call, or then I'll have to give the answer away. 622-9622, your chance to win two rounds of golf to the Ocala Golf Club. If you know what actress of the 50s and 60s was referred to as the virgin, the professional virgin, 622-9622. That's going to wrap up the voice of Ocala. You know, I got a Dave Del Rio sitting here in studio. Dave Del Rio, if I had to ask you that trivia question, would you have been able to come up with the answer? I would. What is the answer, sir? Doris Day. Doris Day. Yeah, just think about it for a second. Who, by the way, is a lot of people think that Sandra D from the movie Grease was patterned after the actress Sand- Sandra D or whatever but I don't know it he, that was actually patterned the musical was she was based off of Doris Day I believe that yeah absolutely yeah so Doris Day I remember and see and I don't remember Doris Day I remember her from the Doris Day show in the 70s that's where I remember her from I like old movies yeah so restaurant and food show coming up next as you know Chef Dave Del Rio already in the building Buddy Martin on his way in plus in the bottom of the hour we'll have guests from Mojo's Grill and Catering Company join us It's all food all the time next on the Restaurant and Food Show right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National magazine and she also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz hi i'm state farm agent angie lewis come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district 416 east fort king street or call 291-2444 Hello, I'm Dawn Lovell, lead event designer and owner at Party Time Rentals. Have you ever wondered what it takes to make an event spectacular? Well, look no further. It's what we do every day. Whether you're hosting an intimate dinner for 10 or a gala for thousands, at Party Time Rentals, we find just the right style and elegance to make your event a success. Our extensive inventory of the finest in chandeliers, tents, crystal, china, and specialty items is featured in our fabulous showroom. Stop by and say hello. It's a great way to get ideas for an event and experience for yourself how you can make your party time special. Party Time Rentals, located on Southwest 10th Street, just off Route 200 in Ocala, and off Southwest 34th Street in Gainesville. For more information, call 352-629-8858. That's 352-629-8858. The party begins at party time. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey Checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. Each morning, we wake up thankful to live in a free nation with liberty and justice for all. But sometimes those liberties can be put in jeopardy, and you may have questions about what to do or who to call. Let Doc Blanchard of Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland help you find the answers. Attorneys at law since 1974 and located in downtown Ocala. If you have legal issues, don't go it alone. Call 352-732-7218. Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland, helping protect your liberties every day. Good credits, bad credits. 
It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Tell her you love her at least three times a day. I love you has a very short shelf life. We get used to sleep deprivation. After a while, our brain starts to think it's normal because sleep loss affects the part of our brain that controls self-awareness. We may be too zonked to know we're zonked. All right, here we go, ladies. The uh, latest beauty treatment is shaving your face. It's supposed to make you look younger. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. The Senate voting now on amendments to the USA Freedom Act. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell proposing new requirements for phone companies and giving the NSA a year instead of six months to end its bulk collection program. Fox News Radio's Jaron Halpern, key provisions of the Patriot Act expired Sunday. Some heated back and forth on Capitol Hill as the House Transportation Committee examines rail safety following last month's deadly Amtrak wreck in Philadelphia. It all comes down to one thing, says New York Democrat Patrick Maloney. Money's the issue, right? Correct. Right. Sarah Feinberg, acting administrator of the Federal Railroad Commission in the hot seat. The House approved over a billion in Amtrak funding last month, far less than the $2.5 billion requested by the White House. Surgeons in Boston have reset Secretary of State John Kerry's broken leg. A spokesman says he's in good condition. The secretary broke his femur while biking in France on Sunday. Fox News. We report. You decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. A man told his wife he only wanted a nice card this Father's Day. So she went to Golfsmith and got the new tailor-made Aero Burner iron set and a free $100 gift card. He was overwhelmed by the thoughtfulness of the card and couldn't really blame her for keeping the irons for herself. Hurry into Golfsmith from now until June 28th and get a free gift card of up to $100 when you purchase a new tailor-made Aero Burner Club. Golfsmith. Anything for golf. Your local pharmacist is also a HealthMart pharmacist, and they're not like other pharmacists. After mom's surgery, I was overwhelmed, but I was so relieved. Her HealthMart pharmacist was there to help. They explained her medication and even delivered to her house. Mom got the personal service she needed, and I got something even better. Peace of mind. Visit HealthMart.com to find a locally owned HealthMart pharmacy near you. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. Yes, it's time again for Buddy Martin. Call him up and tell him what you're thinking. But be kind because he's doing the best he can. I'm just sick of all the amateur stuff, you know? I mean, like, if I'm paying top dollar, I want a little production value, you know? Like some editing, transition, something, some music. Don't worry, we didn't leave you. He's gone? He's not gone? That's the whole point! He's never gone! Our bosses say we gotta stay. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! It's time for the second hour of The Voice of Ocala. hoo y- You ever come across anything like time travel? Come on, stick around. It's free. If you win, you win. If you lose, you still win. Come on. 
Hello, welcome to the Restaurant and Food Show. On another Tuesday afternoon, David Del Rio, superstar, is here in the house with us from Eaton's Beat Sandbar and Wait, Grill. Wait, this isn't coffee with the mayor? No, this is coffee <laughs> with the president, Susan. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. She's not the mayor. She's the president <laughs> around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get to make sure. I don't know why Susan's not just up here on the mic talking. She's a member, a member of the cast, Dave. I know she talks. I do. You, you do, huh? I do. I know she takes great pictures, too, on Facebook. She does. She does. She's a good agent for you. She Thank caught the you, first Susan. fish on Lake Weir. I or, saw or, the for, picture. For the she, had, family. she had visual evidence, didn't she? The boat is in the water. I noticed that. The boat is in the water. That's a big deal at the Del Rio house. It is a big deal for us. Instead of the last day you had off was 1948. (laughs) I'm taking full advantage of it now. Matter of fact, we just went and I bought some new rods and a reel and yeah. Serious about this? Yeah, I'm very serious about it. It just took me a little while to get back into it. I'm very serious about it. What's the biggest fish you ever caught? Um, Well, well, freshwater fish. Yeah. I've caught two bass over 10 pounds. Never caught any more than a five pounder all my life. I didn't. I don't fish now, but when I was a kid, I did. Never. I caught a lot of two and three pounders on a, on a plug, which I, which is great fun. Well, that's you know? fun, yeah. But I'm not big on sitting out there with a shiner and, a, and getting waiting for lunkers. You know, I just I, can't nope. do that. And actually, you know what? I fish all artificial. I never use live bait. Yeah. yeah. All artificial. I think it's a lot more sporting, and um, I just use uh, I use artificials. That's it. What's your favorite bait? Uh, a, my bait. My my go to is a uh, is a worm. Plastic worm on, yeah, a, rubber worm on, on a, a silver spoon. Thing. Yeah, you know. Well, that or a topwater bait. I love an old good old-fashioned jitterbug or one of those. Can't beat those, but my go-to is a, a plastic worm. Rapala was one of my favorites. That's a great That's yeah. a great lure, too. Yeah, it's a great sure, lure. Absolutely. Get a lot of action on it. Then. Yeah, sure is. Well, here we are talking fishing. We should be talking about cooking fish. <laughs> that's true. Is that's there, true. By the way, is there a special way that you can cook fish for people listening? Dave Del Rio knows all about how to cook them. I know you can broil them, obviously. You can bake them, you can whatever. You can fry them. Um, I mean, fried mullet to me is as good as it ever gets. Uh, oh, yeah. I think that's great. Now, but is there a special way you would cook? Like catfish is a great dish. Yeah, I mean, uh, you mm. know, just make sure it's fresh and and lightly seasoned, and you know, and then just the the the, the method of your of your uh, desire. I mean, you know, frying them is great. Real, I like to keep it simple though. I like to keep you know my fish simple. I don't like to do too too much to it. Um, but uh, uh, light a little salt and pepper, and you know, and dredge it in a little flour and. You know, but you can I, butter, put it in buttermilk, and, and that gives it a nice uh, a little tang to it, and, you know, and that's it. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't get any better than this. Oklahoma, we're fishing on this river. It's, it's cold, cold, cold. We were catching trout right out of the river, splitting them open and frying them right there. Get right out of here. 25 feet from the river. We were camped out on this little bluff. We were on the Arkansas Oklahoma border. I can't remember the name of the river, but but we were we were catching fish. It had for to breakfast. be right there, Asylum Springs, right in that area. Was it? In Gore. Gore. That's right. Yeah. We, no, we were in Gore. Yeah, Gore, Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh, but you talk about that's fresh. Well, now that to me is the ultimate fish. Absolutely. Because my memories are of the best fish I've ever eaten in my life. I don't like fishy tasting fish. No. no. And if you get them out right out of the water and and and, and clean them right there and cook them. Now, my dad would go down to the docks in Anne Maria Island mm-hmm. and get them off the boat and come home. They were all clean and cut and, and come home. He'd make, I've told a story, he'd make fry their mullet and he'd put, make uh, hush puppies and he'd put make cheese grits. And that was a special. That was a great. You're getting, you're getting oh, hungry. I'm, I'm hungry talking right about now, it. yeah. Uh, and then the other thing was I remember as a small boy going to Bradenton, going out on the causeway out there and my uncle taking a net, throwing out, grabbing some mullet, bringing them in, cleaning them, putting them in a frying pan, eating them. That was delicious. Mm-hmm. Fresh mullet right out of the water, I think it's as good a fish as you ever ate in your life. Oh, I, I agree. I, and it, there was a, f- a picture on Facebook the other day of a, an old restaurant that I used to love, the Mullet Inn on the Causeway. And they would smoke those, um, those the mullet. And I, I've never really had mullet. Smoke mullet like that mullet really? from the mine. I don't know if it's just my recollection or or but the flavor was just so wonderful. I've never been able to really reproduce that. I've I've gotten I'm good, but just I've never been able to put my finger on that. And you know, here's a an interesting side note. You know, when I was growing up, and I'm sure way before grouper, we used to have grouper every Friday night. Of course, grouper is very expensive now, but back in back in in those days in the in the early '60s, and it was like a trash fish. Uh, minuta is what they called it in Spanish, and and all the the Latin households had fried grouper or or broiled grouper because they were giving it away. 
It's, uh, you know, now you think back on, on what, what we pay for grouper now and how popular it is, you know. And, and catfish at one time was a trash fish. Uh, absolutely. As well. Absolutely. My, uh, my dad being born in Germany, he liked the worst fish in the world. He would take he, smoked herring. He would just, oh. And he would give me as a little boy, you got to eat this. And I, I would long for the days where I could eat catfish or mullet instead of herring because smoked herring was just, oh. Never, never liked it. I had it tasted a couple times. Never went for that. Not a fan either. No. Not a, no. I got yeah. no, not because a fan. He would get it smoked, and then it would be dried, and it'd be like two, three days old, dried out and stuff. And or pickle herring either. They, they love that, that stuff. Yeah, either one. Either one. I'm with you guys. Catfish, grouper, that kind of stuff. Now, you, know? you know what's fun, though, is I did uh, an endorsement for Idaho rainbow trout. Mm. And I got to go to Idaho, and, and you know, um, they're farm-raised. And I got to like stand in the in the ponds where they where they it was just an amazing an amazing experience and how well they treat those fish and how fresh and you know all of that um it, it, but what a great experience I got to stand in the ponds and 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 the water was cold and of course I had the the waders on you know what I mean but to feel be there with thousands of these trout bumping your legs and jumping all around you farm raised or wild yeah farm raised these are farm raised now I got to go I got to go um, fly fishing too and and you know and some of the tr the, uh, the the uh, the little streams up there and, and catch some wild caught some wild ones too but but the uh, um, it's such an amazing process uh, the way they they grow these uh, these rainbow rainbow trout amazing but and they're delicious fish and i got i got to work with a lot of them and you know uh, with a lot of recipes can, i should say can, not a lot of fish can but. you tell the difference between rainbow the taste of rainbow and the taste of brown trout can you taste much of a difference between the two because we caught a lot of brown trout in the north carolina mountains sure and we eat brown trout you'd catch rainbow up there too but a lot of brown trout and I had a buddy of mine that said there was no difference in the taste, and I thought there was a distinct difference in the taste. Yeah, I, I, I got to agree with you. Uh, uh, to me, the rainbow is much milder, and 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 a little, and not maybe not a little, but sweeter. It's milder and sweeter. So I, I definitely agree with you. There's a difference. Getting back right. to the subject of, of of food, and getting back to the subject of uh, fish, uh, your friend uh, uh, Tony Sata mm -hmm. made a comment that we had on last week. And I, and I thought about that a lot since he said it. And you read about this all the time now and everywhere they're doing it. The so-called local vores are the locally grown vegetables mm -hmm. and fish and whatever, things from right here in the county or whatever. 50-mile radius is what they talk about. And he made a point, and we, and we commented on this, but I don't know if we commented on it enough to say your position here in Marion County in a great place because not only do you have plenty of lakes and rivers and you have ample fish nearby but you also have agriculture where you can grow so many of your own fresh vegetables which of course as we know is the big hot trend today that's right and you'd think you'd be able to hold the cost down a little bit on the vegetables you would think if you don't have to ship them i don't know but maybe not huh not really no not but really but it's still i mean it is a great concept well, you know, yeah. to feed your own community. You know, that, that to me is very important. And that's and that's what's worth it about it is that, first of all, you've got fresher produce, mm -hmm. um, but but you're also taking care of your own in the community, and that's what it's about. So you're really not, you're really not saving. You, you know, on some things, yeah, you can save some money. You know what I mean? I, but but really, it's not about saving the money. No, it's not it, about saving money. It's, that's, that's just an it's afterthought. That's but right. you're right about taking care of your own community because as yeah. we go along in this world and you look at the patterns or where water is, I saw – the schematic of that water thing they had again last weekend on 60 Minutes or rerun mm -hmm. about the dry spots all over the globe and the aquifers, and we know about that. We do have at this point a pretty good supply of water here. You, know, you never know until someone comes along and sucks it out of the ground, but right now we do. And we're going to be in a great position. If we do have to grow our own, we're going to be able to do that here. Sure. And, you know, so my mind is I want to paint a mental fence around the county and say, Let's take care of our own here. Let's grow our food. Let's let's have our own. We have wildlife and the forest. You know where you can go out and get game. Uh, you can grow. You can grow cattle out here, and okay. and uh, obviously pigs and whatever. So we we have a. There's something to be said for having a bit of a, a farming community, agricultural community around because agriculture used to be a huge industry in this county. It's still kind of big, but not what it used to be. So I feel safe and secure and comfortable to know that if we had to. We could feed ourselves. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, the, and, and Florida was well known for for its cattle, 
you know, and and, oh, yeah. uh, and and a lot of people think, you know, don't realize that horses. There's more horses in Florida, I think. I'm pretty sure than in Texas. Well, there were horses started here first. Yes. They, the Catford's Cowboy was down in down Kissimmee, not in Texas. Right. And there was, and Tony made this comment last week, he thought Florida was one of the leading community states in, in beef. When my mother worked for Norris Cattle Company, and they had, they had Brahma, raised Brahma stuff, they were, in fact, Florida did lead the country in beef sales. They had a Texas. Mm-hmm. So it it's, was really known for, why would it make sense? You have wonderful thoroughbred horses that grow up healthy here, right? Yep. So why would you have healthy cattle? And, and livestock and poultry and whatever, the same thing. So, again, we've got a terrific thing here, which we can call upon if needed. It's good to know that. This is the Restaurant Food Show. Dave Del Rio co-hosting today along with Susan. Um, took a little trip to a, a local Puerto Rican restaurant with a friend last week. Tell you about that. And I've got a list of the 50 best restaurants that just came out in 2015 around the world. I'm still looking for one that I recognize. And uh, I'll read off a few and see. Uh, there's so few of them in this country, by the way, just so you know. Uh, also, today's horrible restaurant show, show uh, horrible restaurant item. In Tampa, a certain restaurant put the unthinkable meat in a taco. Wait till you hear what they put in this thing. It was obviously an outrage. Can you let your mind drift for a moment and think? It's not, anything to do, it's not domestic animals now. But they put, if you said the top five things you would never eat or put in, uh, in, a, in a taco, this would be right near the top. And also, this thing about antibiotics that we've been reading about, hearing about, whatever. You know, Laurie Martin Gregory talked about it, Tom, on the rest, on the health show for All a long time. All the time. About antibiotics and how much in the, in the food, and now we're finding out the chickens are loaded with them. And suddenly the White House is taking a position on this, too, that uh, you can kind of get rid of these antibiotics in, in the chicken when we're eating. All that coming your way next on the Restaurant Food Show with David Del Rio of Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, along with Tom. I'm Buddy Martin. Stay tuned to 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Right on the southwestern corner of the square sits one of the finest dining establishments in Florida, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood Restaurant. Mark's offers big city dining amenities in a charming and small town setting. It's a rare treat to experience both the ambiance and the exquisite cuisine in a friendly atmosphere. Ocala's finest restaurant serves the finest beef, the freshest seafood, premium wines, and naturally fresh vegetables. From valet parking to splendid service, Mark's offers the complete package. Check it out today. Mark's Prime Seafood and Steakhouse Restaurant. Whenever you're searching for an attorney, you want somebody with knowledge who has a commitment to our community and our state. Such is the case with Daniel L. Hightower, PA Lawyer. In everything from car and other motor vehicle accidents, work accidents, personal injury, and wrongful death cases. Daniel L. Hightower also handles Social Security disability and bankruptcy. Call him today at 352-629-7777 or check out danhightower.com. Daniel L. Hightower, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. If you've been hearing about the crowd at Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Louisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Lakeware sunsets. Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Lakeware. Seating now available. Does osteoarthritis bring frustration with every step? Do pain and stiffness affect your everyday activities? If so, you may be interested in a research study for the treatment of pain associated with osteoarthritis. Rentstar Medical Research is conducting a research study of an investigational medication for individuals between the ages of 40 and 75 and who have been treated for the pain associated with osteoarthritis for at least three months. Qualified participants will receive study-related medical care and investigational medication. Compensation for time and travel will be provided. To learn more about this osteoarthritis study, please call Rinstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. Again, that's 352-629-5800. 
Pay your taxes, eat your vegetables, watch your weight, mow the lawn, clean the house. We all have stuff we don't want to do. Isn't it about time you did something you wanted to do? Like getting your pilot's license? At Ocala Aviation, they make it fun and easy, and you can start by taking one of their discovery flights. For only $99, you get to go up in the airplane with an FAA-certified flight instructor and actually fly the plane yourself. It's a perfect way to see if flying is for you. And once you get that ultimate feeling of freedom, Ocala Aviation Aviation can train you to get your pilot's license. Ocala Aviation also offers commercial flight training for those looking to make a career change and enter the world of commercial aviation. Ocala Aviation is conveniently located at the Ocala International Airport. So if you're ready to start your adventure, stop by or give them a call today. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. Ocala Aviation. Call today. 861-7484. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mail Medical Center. Wow! They made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mail treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Del Rio on Restaurant Food Show. I don't know, Dave, you don't get to eat out too much and because uh, you you're working all the time. Do you eat your own food most of the time or do you have somebody cook it for you? Um, I, you know, I got to tell you, I do a lot of grazing. My, you know, Susan yeah, cooks, cooks yeah. very well, but I, by the time I get done tasting, because I taste everything at the restaurant every single day, yeah, do you really? numerous yeah. times a day. Yeah, really. And uh, I just don't, I'm, just don't stay hungry, but I eat a lot. You know what I mean? Obviously, I'm <laughs> I'm not a slim guy, yeah. uh, but uh, but but the plus size like me. I'm, yeah, I'm a I'm a plus plus size. That's okay. Yeah, you know? none of us got this size by saying no. That's. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I, uh, I graze a lot at the restaurant, and oh. and um, and Susan cooks for me at home. Yeah, uh, and sometimes grazing is the best way. You don't get too full, you know, and. Uh, and you know they they say you should eat six. I say they. I hate to say it. I've heard read eating six meals a day would be the ideal thing to do, because you never always tough yourself. Well, we eat out a little bit, not as much as we used to. I like to try new things. I went to a place uh, with my friends last week that I had not been to. It's a small cafe, Hispanic food called Chayote. Uh, located on Silver Springs Boulevard, right next to Tastio's Donuts. I, yeah. Yeah. I've seen that restaurant. Yeah, and uh, my friend uh, went in with me. He's Puerto Rican, by the way, and it, this is Puerto Rican food. And then my friend Tom Ingram went also. I'll say Tito, Tito and I, and Tito Tom Comas went in to have uh, some food. Uh, I've got the card here. Jose, I met Jose. He's open, I think, now Thursday through the weekend. Um, and um, I, I tried something. Say it again. Pernil asado. Pernil asado. asado. Yeah, a pork dish, whole pork. I don't know what it was exactly. It was like a, it was like, sort of like a potato, but it was it was starchier and white. Was uh, it yuca? Yeah, it was yuca. Oh, I love yuca. You like love yuca? Oh, I love yuca too. Oh no, I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Do y'all need a moment, Susan? I need to leave the room. (laughs) Yeah, and then I had the red beans and rice and stuff and whatever, tasty, you know, stuff. 
I, I'm not a huge fan of pork. It has to be cooked just exactly right for me to be a big fan. My wife likes it. She make she makes pork roast occasionally. I'm not just I mean pork chops. I'm just not a huge fan of it. And it was good, but not my favorite thing. I'll be honest with you. Nothing to do wrong with him. It's just I'm mm-hmm. not a big mm-hmm. fan of pork. If I order it again, I order. Some, here's this menu, David. Take that and tell me what you would order on that menu. But uh, I said I'd mention the restaurant on the air for Jose. Uh, he does catering out there. Uh, it's uh, Teote, Puerto Rican authentic food, home of the Con Con Pork Chop and the Chocolate <laughs> Tres Leches. That just that's sounds good. food in Central Florida. So anyway, uh, that's a okay. small place. It probably looks like about maybe mm, 12, about 16, 18 spot. Maybe 20 people can sit in there. Huh. Uh, and if you're interested, check them out. The telephone number is 352-304-6879. So Chayote. Now, now I ate this week at a place that you probably been to, buddy. But you, I don't know that we've ever talked about it. I was in, um, did the A1A drive. I stopped in at the world famous, although I'm not real sure why it's world famous, Oasis in uh, um, Crescent Beach. Yeah, it's just on the edge of Crescent. Crescent it's really yeah. actually St. Augustine. Isn't it? Well, it's actually just across the line yeah. in Crescent, but it's well, more St. Augustine I than was Crescent. just there. Well, I know, the sign, I took a picture of it. And it's supposed to be really good breakfast, and I know who lives right down the block. Right. At that drive, you go down there. Certainly. And it's a big condo down there. Beach I know. Club. Right down the road. And you know who lives there? Uh, yes. Who? Aren't you writing his book? No. Oh, who lives there? Then? I thought that was his. No, no. He's way down at Crescent Beach. Oh. He's got a home, big home there. Who, who's at that condo? John Brantley. Oh, that's where John Brantley is. right there. Is. The Oasis is where his new condo is. I yeah. can see that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he's, he touts the Oasis. I, the, and we, we had the uh, we had the world-famous burgers at the Oasis. Mm-hmm. How were they? And, uh, the, the, you know, as far as burger go, they were, they, were more th- they were better than average. But the atmosphere of the Oasis, once again, you know how we always talk about the ambiance and the atmosphere? That's really what is what makes the Oasis world famous because it it's flip flops, flip flops and shorts and t-shirts. But you got the open air, so the ocean's coming right off the the smell of the ocean's coming right off and everything. And it's just that laid back Jimmy Buffett type feel. It's no Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, but it's nice. <laughs> but it, it, it's like Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill just on the coast instead of yeah. instead of being on the world's greatest lake. It's on the ocean. That's but they it. don't have Dave Del Rio. Well, they don't have, no, no. <clears throat> so well, go. they don't have Louisiana. They just got burgers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hear they got good breakfast. <clears throat> There's a place right down the street called the Wildwood. I believe it's called Wildflower. Wild Wildflower, mm-hmm. which has got a good breakfast also right there. So, yeah. not that you spend much time over there. Well, I, I did a little bit. Yeah, I try to go a couple times a year if I can. I'm not All one of these you guys, guys that, that went to the University of Florida. That was y'all's beach. That was your go-to beach when you left. Well, not really. Well, my go-to beach was Daytona. Was it? And later on in life, when people, guys got married, they didn't want to go have to pick up girls in Daytona, so they started going someplace else in Crescent Beach. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to the Spurrier about it, and I asked him the first time he came over to the Crescent Beach, 1965, he said, I couldn't go to Daytona because I had a date with Jerry. <laughs> so he went to Crescent Beach, and that's, he started going there, and has been going ever since then. So. Yeah, so Dave, you can take a look at that menu there and see uh, the Puerto Rican food that uh, they got at Chayote. Yeah, well, and, uh, you know, there's a little crossover here. There, is there? You know, yeah, absolutely. This is, um, you know, a uh, um, Caribbean style. They have their own style, you know, gandulas, the, the the peas that they use and some of those things. But there's some crossover. I mean, the tostones, the uh, um, uh, the platanos that are green, they, they make them into tostones, which are, which are, are uh more solid and firm, and when they get black, you know they 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 are sweet. They have a different name for them. But there's a couple things on here that are that that I I just love. I, you know which one I really love? What? I can tell you, it's a dessert. It's called cascaditos de guayaba con queso. Yeah, those are guava shells. I said shells. too. Same thing. That's that's, what I that, wanted that's to your favorite yeah. thing. No, I, you know. No, no. I just said I could speak like that. <laughs> I was lying, of course. Yeah. Guava shells with cream cheese. Really? Oh, that sounds so great. So simple. Yeah. And but I grew up on those, and my mother used to get those these big crackers, and I just grew up on those things. I yeah. I, I love them, and and I took it to another level at at uh, at my restaurant in Tampa. We had them on the menu, we had them simple like this, but I also made uh, um, crepes out of them, and I made a sauce out of the. Oh, it was delicious. Great. Uh, come, we're gonna take a break here. Come back. We'll get to that story about the uh, unusual taco, and also we'll talk about the 50 best restaurants in America, according to this, uh, in the world, I should say. And the White House press uh, 
press forward on the antibiotic use of ban of that. We got special guests coming in. Becky here. Johns and Sunshine Keegan are in the green room. All right, we'll get to them next right here on the voice. And plus, we have trivia, and I have a thirty dollar gift certificate from Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood. Okay. So uh, trivia question. Trivia what? question. So well, David will come up with we'll right. one. Stay tuned to uh, the Restaurant Food Show on thirteen seventy AM, ninety six point three FM. We're live and local. The source. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National magazine and she also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz hi i'm state farm agent angie lewis come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district 416 east fort king street or call 291-2444 Hello, I'm Tom Schmitz, here to tell you about Okus, a great resource for any business and a proud partner of the CEP. Okus offers your business radically new technology called Next Generation Websites. Sites that do not wear out, they automatically adapt to new technology like smartphones, tablets, and the next big thing. Why pay for technology that starts becoming obsolete the moment you buy it? With Okus, there is so much more. Built into the Okus platform is an unmatched array of business solutions adaptable to any business. Okus is a superior Herb example that cutting edge technology can grow and prosper in Marion County. And I should know because they handle my website, ktforfun.com. Okus has assisted numerous companies in Marion County that have succeeded online. You can learn more by visiting them online at okus.com. That's O C O O S.com. Or drop by their downtown Ocala location at 116 South Magnolia Avenue. Find out how Okus can provide your business with everything you need to succeed online. Fox News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. The Senate voting now on amendments to the USA Freedom Act. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell proposing new requirements for phone companies and giving the NSA a year instead of six months to end its bulk collection program. Fox News Radio's Jaron Halpern, key provisions of the Patriot Act expired Sunday. Some heated back and forth on Capitol Hill as the House Transportation Committee examines rail safety following last month's deadly Amtrak wreck in Philadelphia. It all comes down to one thing, says New York Democrat Patrick Maloney. Money's the issue, right? Correct. Right. Sarah Feinberg, acting administrator of the Federal Railroad Commission in the hot seat. The House approved over a billion in Amtrak funding last month, far less than the two and a half billion requested by the White House. Surgeons in Boston have reset Secretary of State John Kerry's broken leg. A spokesman says he's in good condition. The secretary broke his femur while biking in France on Sunday. Fox News. We report. You decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. A man told his wife he only wanted a nice card this Father's Day. So she went to Golfsmith and got the new tailor-made arrow burner iron set and a free $100 gift card. He was overwhelmed by the thoughtfulness of the card and couldn't really blame her for keeping the irons for herself. Hurry into Golfsmith from now until June 28th and get a free gift card of up to $100 when you purchase a new tailor-made arrow burner club. Golfsmith. Anything for golf. Your local pharmacist is also a HealthMart pharmacist, and they're not like other pharmacists. After mom's surgery, I was overwhelmed, but I was so relieved. Her HealthMart pharmacist was there to help. They explained her medication and even delivered to her house. Mom got the personal service she needed, and I got something even better. Peace of mind. Visit HealthMart.com to find a locally owned HealthMart pharmacy near you. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. 
never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results and all but given up on my sex life. Then I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. On the next AMO Kala Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Anna Porter. She's a biographer, a publisher, and she's speaking about her book called Buying a Better World, George Soros and Billionaire Philanthropy. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. And then Laura Burns from Career Source, Citrus Levy Married, will be in the studio telling us about some jobs right here in Marion County. Matt Wilkerson will be speaking about Verizon Wireless Communications. And then John Fuller from the law firm of Fuller & Fuller here in Ocala will be answering your legal questions on his show, Legally Yours. Kristen Maxwell Cooper is the editor of The Knot. She's a contributor to Big Morning Buzz on VH1 and New York Live. She'll be speaking about The Knot Dream Wedding, which will be broadcast live on June the 4th. And then travel expert Anthony James coming in with the voice of travel, keeping us up with the latest travel tips and the latest travel tech. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Ocala Live right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. the restaurant food show dave del rio co-host eat and speak sand bar and grill coming up in just a second becky johns and sunshine kingan from uh mojos they're going to tell us all about what's happening with rondo and all the stuff over there I ate there a couple of, well last week i guess it was and we'll find out what's happening but first i got to get to this one story because it really just it's, it irks me it's going to irk you today this is a tampa restaurant dave you you know tampa yes and they served a taco they put a special kind of meat in this taco, and people got kind of outraged about it. And you started thinking, what could that possibly be? If you're not talking about domestic animals, uh, you know, or something like that, what could it be that would be get people so upset if you put a certain kind of meat in a taco? Can I guess? Go ahead. Take a shot. Possum. No. No. Because that would really aggravate no. me if they put possum this, this in my... Is, this is the unthinkable. Not because uh, of how it tastes, but because of what it is. Can Armand, I take a guess? Yeah. Is it like something... I know it's something crazy. Is something like tiger? Very close. Lion. Lion. What? What? Yeah. Lion meat. Stop it. Taco Fusion. Restaurant Tampa. Raised a few eyebrows and a little bit of ire with taco stuff with lion meat. They're known for their selection of uh, exotic oh, foods. And there's the menu right there. It says uh, fresh, fresh, fresh Mexican fusion. And there it is, lion meat. And, of course, there was an outrage. And they said they were uh, going to drop it from the menu and take it off the menu. But then later on, someone posted they still ordered some more lion meat. I can't imagine a restaurant surviving and serving lion meat, Dave. No, I, I really can't either. I think that's that's a big a big no no. You know, I'm sorry. I, I just ethically, I just think it's wrong. And you know what? I, I forgot that it was lion because I heard about this a while back. This this isn't brand new. This has been this happened a while back. Yeah, a little while. It happened even I think over a year ago. I'm not sure when it happened, but it did happen. The story I'm reading right now on BuzzFeed. <clears throat> anyway, just I couldn't believe it. I thought I said this can't be right. Could I mean just like maybe a lion that was died or something? I mean, in any if you did that, it's you wrong. would either not right. It's you wrong. Lion I, mean, I, I, I just can't imagine. Ugh. Never. Anyway, I told you it was today's Could disgusting story. Not. Yeah, you never guess that. So, but Dave almost did. All right, time now. And how's that for an opening for uh, yeah. for Becky and Sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to get got to get better from here up. I know. <laughs> Welcome now, Becky Johns, executive assistant to Rondo Fernandez. And Sunshine, yes, that's her name, Keegan, general manager of the local location on 200 of um, 
of um, one of the best places uh, in, around this part of the country, Mojo's. We all know it well. Welcome, ladies. Good to have you today. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming in. Dave Del Rio and I need all the help we can get today. Sure do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, glad Good to have down. you. Yeah. Uh, well, catch us up on, on whatever, what's been going on with the Mojo's lady and, and uh, you know, what's up. Uh, What's happening, and and I know that there there's news recently that Heart and Soul was closed. Um, I yes, guess that's still happening. That's closed. correct. Terrific, terrific, a noble effort to pull off something that was not only a very good restaurant, but also uh, I think made our community better. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just can't make things work economically, can you? Well, you know, and he tried his best, but his main focus is Mojo's, and we don't want him to lose focus where it belongs. And Heart and Soul is a great concept, and he wants to come back to it eventually one day because that's really his give back. Just wasn't the time right now. Yeah, and and I know it was a hard one, but it, it was. I hope he does come back to it. And I know that we try to support it, and I know that a lot of people did try to support it. But Rondo's got so much going on. There's an old saying. I quoted this to my wife the other day: "Keep the main thing the main thing." Yes. Mm -hmm. And of course, yep. you guys have the main thing going on. Yep. Talk about the stores and and now and what's happening in locations there are what three of them now um yes three now yes now and um and, and w w which one's the business one over here right off uh, 200 yes yes yeah, sunshine yeah. store is definitely yeah. the busiest right now yeah. um yeah um and so it's such a good place to go because first of all there's plenty of room to sit mm -hmm. it's got a, it's got a nice bar in the back and dave i don't know if you've been there or not the mojo's over here but they have good live music one of my favorite places to eat is back at the bar. I've been, but I can't remember which one I went to. I, I get, I'm, well, there, I'm there's not one, there's one in Bellevue. Yeah. So when you say 200, right. it's like, and okay, well, where's that? The one on 200 is by Target. Mm -hmm. it, I went to the other one, the, the Bellevue. Bellevue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I it. yeah. So, I mean, you can, you can sit in one of the booths up front if you want to, whatever, or you can go to the very back. Sometimes when you're having a, a business meeting at lunch, it's good to go in the back. Yes. yes. Have a little more private. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, again, if you're going there on a Thursday or Friday night, Get there at the bar, and you can get some nice food at the bar, and you got terrific, uh, some terrific music in there too, as well. Yes. So, right, Friday and Saturday nights are Friday live, and Saturday mm -hmm. live music. Uh huh. At the Bellevue Ocala location and the Highway 27 location, uh, and then you know during that in the week we have trivia night and open mic night and kids night and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, pretty so, good trivia night on Monday night. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, you have to overcome that, but anyway, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty good trivia. The guy that hosts trivia on Monday nights, top notch as far as I'm concerned. Also very humble too, thinks, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, don't break your arm. Uh, Dave, you know, you got the, the place downstairs of Eaton's Beach and you've got, you know, live music mm -hmm. down there and, and obviously serve food out there. Is your menu limited down there, Dave? Yeah, it's it's definitely more limited downstairs. We, um, you know, it's burgers, great burgers, great brats, all natural hot dogs. And, you know, it's it's a beach menu. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, the, the, the Floresiana food that we're famous for is upstairs. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can't get the really good stuff, though, downstairs. I'm working on it. Believe me, I'm, I'm trying to figure well, it's out. It's okay. A way. I understand. You have you to know? limit something. I mean, you can't. I know, I know. But I, I, re I, I want to do something downstairs different, and I'm working on it. I just don't want to give it away yet. It's not a criticism. But, it's just no, a I fact know, of I life. Know, it's I just, know, I we know. all know if you're going to eat at the bar downstairs, you're not going to be able to get a full menu. I mean, we can figure that out. You can get a mufalato, though. Oh, no, boy. They are right. good, too. They are. Um, now, what is the number one thing at Mojo's? I mean, the hamburger is great, I know. Is there one particular dish it sells the most? Um, well, the, we're known for the pepin. Mm -hmm. The pepin, which is the pulled pork, the plantains, the black beans and rice. Dave, um, that's your, that down your alley. It, and you know what? I've had that there. And the mojo pulled yeah. pork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Why'd yeah, you call the pepin? Um, it, it was after, named after Rhonda's, Rhonda's father. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Pepin. Well, there was a pepin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Dave, you know, that was over down in St. Pete, Tampa. There was a place called Pepin's in St. Pete. Yeah. And mm -hmm. one in Tampa, I believe, too. And I wonder if that's the same. You pronounce it different, Pepin, Pepin. Well, he, he calls him Pepin, too. So did, Pepin? Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a connection there. So I remember the Pepins in St. Pete used to have a tremendous uh, flounder in the bag, grouper in the bag, mm -hmm. you know, which I thought was really – you ever eaten that before oh, in the bag? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Really it was, that was when I was at Cafe Pepe's. That was one of our our main dishes. Yeah, that's probably it. Probably came from Cafe Pepe's. It, it, it <laughs> did stem from there. But Pepin, there was a, there was a chef Pepin. There was. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no. very 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 well known. You yeah. know the you know the good thing about Mojo's though, buddy, is that the, the burgers. No, no, I don't I don't eat wings. Everybody knows oh, Tom doesn't eat wings. No, Tom. Wings. Every, yes. Tom everybody does not know you no, don't I, eat wings. I, didn't know. I know you're famous, but oh, we don't know your entire menu. He likes the mac and cheese. I love the mac and cheese. It's fresh made. But what what I like about their 
burger. My favorite burger is the Moho burger. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's the way that's in, 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 in although lately Jappy's been my favorite one, but it's how they infuse things into the meat, like the jalapeno burger, the Jappy burger. Has a piece of jalapeno in and the it, burger. Yeah, that is. Sure I mean, and the mo and the we well, call it a mojo burger, right. but the mojo burger has bacon infused. In right, it. I, yeah. that's why I love it because you can never go wrong with bacon and with burgers. bacon and burgers. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just can't, barbecue, can't, yeah. all the same thing. Can't yeah. go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have a question in just a minute, and somebody's gonna want a thirty dollars gift certificate to uh, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood. And Cindy's not here today. But we'll, we'll award that time as you come with that question. I got a great question. At the break, we'll have that. And uh, somebody went walk away with that. You just have to call 622-9622 as soon as Tom says go and pick it up. As simple as that. It's not going to be hard. Tom's questions are not hard. No, <laughs> no. I'm the trivia guru. I know how to give stuff away. Yeah, you, you do give most of my stuff away for sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Mojo's too. Right. Yeah, I give Mojo yeah. stuff away too. If you don't believe it, just come see on Monday night. <laughs> I know. Well, we give away a lot of Mojo certificates right here on we Tuesdays. Do. On yeah. Tuesdays. Yeah. Mojo's, yep. Mojo's a big supporter of uh, the trivia. Trivia Nated Tuesday, Tuesday with Tom. With Tom. Yeah, absolutely. So, All right, so uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I, I was looking at some, some things today on, on trends. And Dave, you know I'm always looking at these trend things and seeing. <laughs> but I mean, now let me give you a couple real fast that, that are things that one of the things that everybody says is happening because of the so-called millennials. They don't do anything off their phone, you know. Is that you can now, you know, order off, off your phone. You know, there's a lot of tech stuff going on in restaurants. Mm-hmm. Tech is is one of the big things, and um, they say you can even now get to a point where you can order a full meal and like, or you can order in McDonald's by phone. Mm-hmm. That seems to be a, a great one of the great trends um and it's sh- they say it's changing now a lot of people are afraid they're going to miss a generation of kids you know who are now born with a with a phone in their hand mm-hmm. and from ages 17 to 22 or 23 they seem to be trying to capture that market so a lot of different things are going on when in those in that particular aspect is there anything that any of you you're probably working so hard you don't have time to look up and think about what's next you got to worry about what's in front of you mm-hmm. like a lot of people but is there anything dave we've talked about this some anything that you see coming in the future that might change the way restaurants do business or is there something they should change well you caught me off guard on that question that's a great question yeah um, well, you know, there's a lot of things that are that are coming down. You're right. The, keeping up with the millennials and the, and the Gen Xers and all these different, you know, uh, the technology has got to change. But I, I still go back to say, though. Basics. Basics. Yeah, comfort yeah. food. Basics. Yeah. Great food. Great quality. I will say the younger generation, you know, one thing that I think is going to continue is they like to sample. Mm-hmm. And I think smaller... You know, not smaller portions necessarily, but but the style of tapas type. Tapas, yeah. yeah. Not not Spanish tapas per yeah. se, but yeah. just that style. style of tapas, is, yeah. is going to um, is going to get that. more and more. Yeah. It's about the popular. taste too, as much as anything. Well, it's about it's about you 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 can be social. You can sit down with four or five friends because the the younger generation they kind of travel in packs or in groups. You know what I mean? And they can sit down and they can order a multitude of things mm-hmm. and okay. sample and try and talk. And, and I think that's what I, and I think it's a wonderful, you know, trend, if you want to know the truth. I All right. It. I got some for you right here real quick before we go to break. How do you like these trends? 3D printed food. Nope. No. It's it actually really happening. Uh, they, can, they can step over to a 3D printer and they can make. So you're eating I'm plastic? Eating that, yeah. No, no. You make it out of, the, obviously, out of some of the food. That, that's being done. Here's a second one that won't be in my house. Bugs and reptiles. No, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Fried steaks. Uh, Fried insects, snakes pretty good now. Insects are showing up in snack bars and smoothies. Grasshoppers. Yeah, that's what they say. I mean, a rattlesnake good. deep mm-hmm. fried is pretty good um, now, Tom. Good. <laughs> franchise chain called, called Zoop with 60 locations. They have a rattlesnake stew. Of course, we know about rattlesnake around here and gator yeah. and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And then here's one I might go for. Healthy candy. Finally. Entrepreneurs have been experimenting with this idea for years, but 2015 may be the year it breaks out of health food stores and goes mainstream. Healthy candy company to be you be living smart, it's called, uh, saw its olive oil-based protein and fruit pack pocket treat soar to over 10,000 distribution points past Halloween last year, including 
400 Walmarts. How about that? Healthy I'm okay candy. with healthy yeah. candy. I'm okay with that. Yeah. 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 Healthy candy is a good idea. Healthy apple pie. <laughs> healthy cake. Yeah. Yeah. Healthy I'm okay cake. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Go for healthy it. Healthy ice cream. Yeah. Healthy ice cream, yeah. yeah. And then for Cindy, healthy donuts. Healthy yeah. cotton yeah. candy. Yeah. Healthy yeah. cotton candy. Yeah. Yeah. Healthy, you know, funnel <laughs> cake. Tom, what's your question? And we come back, I'm going to... I'm going to uh, read you a list of, tell me the most famous restaurant you've ever eaten in, and I'll bet you it's not on this list. The 50 best restaurants in the world. I won't read them all, but the, I'll see if we can find one we've ever heard of. What's the question for trivia today? It's a Tom? very easy question. In downtown now, there's a restaurant called The Lunchbox. Before The Lunchbox was in that location, what restaurant was there? Does that have anything to do with anybody who's in a room right now? It may or may not. I don't know. <laughs> All right. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is call 622-9622 right now. You tell us right now what it is. The first person gets a $32 gift certificate. Why? Is that? Just the way it came out uh, to, Mark, to Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood. Stay tuned to the Voice of a Color Restaurant and Food Show. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Do you remember when summer was a celebration? You know, no schools, no worries, just days packed with your favorite pastime. It was the splendid season you dreamed of all year long. But as you got older and busier, the summer seemed to lose its sparkle. Where did those carefree days go? Well, they're closer than you think. Summer's still sensational at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club, where you can come out and play the grown-up way with our affordable summer memberships. Enjoy our championship golf course celebrating the game's greatest holes, hard true tennis courts, and a state-of-the-art fitness center. Explore our stately 77,000-square-foot clubhouse and unwind at our relaxing spa. Don't forget the pool! It's a summer unlike any other, and it's yours with a Golden Ocala summer membership. You can call Golden Ocala at 629-6229 to inquire about a summer membership, or you can visit goldenocala.com to learn more. That's goldenocala.com. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. To receive your comparative insurance quote, contact the McDonald Agency at 622-2333. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. 
Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Welcome back to the Restaurant and Food Show. The trivia question that was out, that got answered almost instantaneously, was the lunchbox that is downtown now is located in what former restaurant's address? The restaurant that was there before the lunchbox was in that location, of course, was Mojo's Grill and Catering. Woo woo! <laughs> Richard Hatch knew that at correct answer, and he now went. He went out gets a gift certificate to Mark's Prime. Steakhouse and Seafood, located on the square in beautiful downtown Ocala. Buddy Martin? Which we will have for you <clears throat> tomorrow. So uh, we'll be able to pick it up Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Um, yeah, uh, our guest today, Becky Johns, executive assistant to Rondo Fernandez, Sunshine Keegan, general manager of the 200 location, and uh, we're talking about restaurant trends, what have you. I don't know. I know the restaurant people don't get a chance to go out and eat very much. We've got about a minute. Mm-hmm. But I was going to uh, ask you if uh, – what is the one restaurant you've been to you think is the most famous place that you've eaten in? Is there one place in particular? Oh, man. That's what kind of caught me off guard a little bit. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, you can always say, uh, you know, you, you've got places in Tampa or Jacksonville or Orlando as well. New Orleans is a great food city. I know I've eaten there. There's the wonderful restaurants out there. But if there, 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 there are none of these none of these places I've ever heard of on this list. So you're telling me well, Ditka's in great food, but Ditka's yeah. in Chicago didn't make it? Oh no, it's not even close. As a matter of fact, out of this list, <laughs> I haven't got time to go over it now. There's only like four rest five restaurants in the United States. The rest of them are all foreign. Oh wow. Yeah, and uh, uh, the, uh, the number one is El Celar. How you pronounce it, David? C E L L E R. El Celar de Can Roca. That's terrible Spanish. E L C E L L E R. El Celar. What is it? The cellar is something, anyway. Yeah. It's number one is from Girona, Spain, and then uh, another one is from Italy, and then Copenhagen, and then Peru, and you got to go all the way down to number five, 11 Madison Park in New York City. They were fifth. <laughs> that wraps it up for the day. Thanks to Becky Johns and for um, to, to Sunshine Keegan, along with David Del Rio. Thanks to Susan for the coffee. Um, and uh, stay tuned. Coming up next hour, we've got uh, lots of sports for you, so be sure and stay tuned, too. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Weekends are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. We are Blackboard. Some new talent? Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. <laughs> Your weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are Blackboard. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75.
Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch Planning for a Better and Safer Retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Ouch. Does pain have you glued to the couch? Yes, unfortunately it's true that every year we must get older, but that doesn't mean we have to deal with pain in our back, knees, or shoulder. If your muscles and joints are sore, don't worry anymore. Come get acupuncture from me and you'll be pain free. Acupuncture starts as low as $35 at a Better You Healthcare. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at 615-5566. Stop your pain from driving you insane. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Want to have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep, at 352-528-0020. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Your source for the number one sports weekend, Fox Sports, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. This is WOCA, News Talk 1370. WOCA! Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Radio. I'm Karen McHugh. The Senate passes the domestic surveillance reform bill known as the USA Freedom Act. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell voiced his support for amendment changes that did not pass. It does not enhance the privacy protections of American citizens, and it surely undermines American security by taking one more tool from our warfighters, in my view, at exactly the wrong time. The measure now heads to the White House. In Boston, a terrorist suspect being watched by police is dead. As cops confronted him, they say he pulled out a knife. Police demand that he drop it. They kept retreating verbally giving commands to drop the weapon, drop the weapon, and at some point the individual proximity came close that the officers were in danger, uh, their lives were in danger, when two officers discharged their weapon. Police Commissioner William Evans, stocks end the day lower, the Dow fell 29, the Nasdaq lost 6, the S&P shed 2 points. Fox News, we report, you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. 
A man told his wife he only wanted a nice card this Father's Day, so she went to Golfsmith and got the new tailor-made Aero Burner iron set and a free $100 gift card. He was overwhelmed by the thoughtfulness of the card and couldn't really blame her for keeping the irons for herself. Hurry into Golfsmith from now until June 28th and get a free gift card of up to $100 when you purchase a new tailor-made Aero Burner Club. Golfsmith, anything for golf. Your local pharmacist is also a HealthMart pharmacist, and they're not like other pharmacists. After mom's surgery, I was overwhelmed, but I was so relieved. Her HealthMart pharmacist was there to help. They explained her medication and even delivered to her house. Mom got the personal service she needed, and I got something even better. Peace of mind. Visit HealthMart.com to find a locally owned HealthMart pharmacy near you. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. How much time? 30? 30 seconds. I'm on right now. I don't believe you. Okay, okay. Enough kidding around. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho. And now it's time for the Buddy Martin Buddy, Sports Bay. He actually had me stay here last night in his gym. It's like I don't fit in. It's like I don't belong here. Let's go talk to a couple of guys that never gamble. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poor house at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. Gambling is illegal at Bushwood, sir, and I never slide. And now, here's Buddy. Welcome to Buddy Sports Page on Tuesday. Going to be quite a sports week. It's shaping up to be a good week to watch television. If you're following the Gator softball team, last night's victory over Michigan. And I'm not a huge fan of softball, but I'm a, I'm a, I used to play it, and obviously it's big around here. But Gator softball team can actually wrap things up tonight uh, if they can beat Michigan in the best of three, I believe it is. So, um, uh, that's going on. Gator baseball team is going in action this week at home uh, with a super regional. Uh, and not to mention the fact NBA finals are squared off on, on Thursday, and then we got the Stanley Cup. A lot of things happening in the world of sports. And yet still there are people who want to talk about the SEC, what happened in Destin, and the money that was doled out there. And the people who cover this kind of thing, like Mark Long of the AP, uh, significant things happen there in Dustin, and we join now by Mark Long. Mark, how are you doing? Hey, doing good, buddy. How are you guys? Good. Uh, just out of curiosity, when you came out of, out of Dustin, we tried to get you, and you were real busy and working on the stories, but did you have a, a little news came out of Dustin, didn't it? Yeah, you know, not a ton, but certainly a little bit. I mean, when Mike Slive calls it quits, you know, even though it was only, you know, it was expected, but it was still two months early. Mike Slive calls it quits on the final day there. They, uh, they, NCAA record, they hand out NCAA record revenue and out of the 14 member schools. And then they, they do really do a little bit of a, a landmark, uh, rule in terms of not allowing any transfer with any kind of, uh, sexual assault or real significant criminal background, any kind of criminal background, they're not going to allow those people into the SEC. So, uh, you know, some pretty pretty strong things on that final day, not to mention, you know, things that happened earlier in the week. You know, they upped the fine significantly for rushing the fields and courts, and then they also uh, changed the basketball schedule a little bit uh, and going from a one- one permanent opponent to three permanent opponents. So Florida goes from playing Kentucky every year and then rotating everybody else to playing Kentucky, Georgia, and Vanderbilt every year, home and home, and then rotating everybody else. Of all those things, the one that seemed to get the most play was, aside from the money, which always you know, is a big story anymore. There's no figure that shocks me. 
each team got 30, I think 32 million or whatever it was, uh, a certain amount of money. There were there's a time when the whole league didn't get 32 million, but nonetheless, this is what we're in the market we're in today, and I understand that. But the one that seems to be getting the, the most resonation, if that's a word, is, is this thing about uh, the sexual crimes and misconduct, and the fact SEC, I guess, was kind of embarrassed by the transfer to Alabama. Nick Saban said to be one of his worst moments as a coach when he had to go through all that. But I don't know if they can stop it or slow it down. I admire the nobility of the effort, and I think it's something they should have done. Uh, it does seem to be a problem at the highest level in the land, including the NFL. Do you think that's going to have an impact on things? And will it, in fact, it can't hurt the cause, Mark, can it? No, and, and it, it can't. And you're not talking about, you know, this isn't going to put the league at this huge competitive disadvantage because they're, you know, they're all of a sudden not going to allow all these transfers. Listen, this, the Jonathan, you know, is it uh, Jonathan Martin case uh, was a one time deal, one guy, and we just don't see that kind of thing very often. So, yes, this is reactionary to that. Georgia proposed it. Because uh, cause he was at Georgia and then went to Alabama after going to a junior college. And, you know, they, they passed it, you know, because it's the right thing to do. But the reality is, you know, it may not come into play ever again. And that's a good thing if it never comes into play. Uh, because the reality is these guys, even though they deserve second chances, um, you know, you shouldn't probably be rewarding a guy with allowing him to walk away from his troubles in one city or at one school, show up at another school, and all of a sudden he's, you know, kind of thrown in the mix and all forgotten about, you know, what happened elsewhere. Because that's really what these guys are trying to do. They're trying to leave, get a fresh start, and leave some troubled area, you know, behind them. And the SEC's like, listen, we're not going to be a party to that. you got to stay in your city, at your school, and you figure it out there. And if, if not, then you can go to another conference, and it can be their problem. It's not going to be our problem. The one, uh, the one phrase that, res- that actually people kind of took umbrage with, I think, was they kept repeating the phrase, uh, the, the level, level playing field. There are a lot of people who think that the, the level, people, the, the SEC hasn't been on a level playing field in a long time because it's been to their advantage. If you look back at the, the people thinking they're, they got favorable treatment and the seedings and what have you and so on and so forth, and there's going to be a backlash when you won seven straight championships, no question about that. But the idea that in a sense that here's this big rich league which just handed out all this money you know, and going to get more and more every year. Uh, and they, you know, they already had won seven championships in nine years that they're sort of crying foul and saying, we want a level playing field. That might not have really, uh, that might not have helped their cause. Yeah. And you know what? And honestly, buddy, that was kind of the big joke early in the week was here we show up on Tuesday and all these coaches are complaining about some of the rules the graduate transfer rule that the SEC has that requires a waiver. And then the other big one was these camps, these recruiting camps, satellite Satellite camps, camps, whatever you want to call Mm -hmm. them. Yeah. That are popping up all over the place. Uh, Urban Meyer is going to have one in at FAU this month. Uh, Jim, uh, Michigan coach, Jim Harbaugh is going to do a nine day, nine different city tour where he's going to bounce nine different places, and it's really a recruiting tool. And the SEC has a rule that prohibits any SEC team from, from holding these camps off campus. So they can't go – nobody in the SEC can go down to South Florida and have a camp or be part of a camp down there. They can't go to Texas, you know, and be part of it unless you're on your campus. So, you know, so the SEC was crying all this, you know, oh, we want a competitive blah, blah, blah. And, the, and you're right. Everybody else kind of just rolled their eyes at that because they're going, listen, you guys already play in the most fertile recruiting grounds, you know, in the country. You've got this warm weather. You've got the best stadiums across the board. You've got some of the best facilities. Uh, You've got now you've got the the most money of any league, which we knew was going to happen, that they were going to break that. So, you know, you've got some of the best coaches. So it's kind of a big running joke is uh, the SEC wants – a level playing field, ha, 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 it hasn't been level for decades. So, uh, but, you know, what they ended up figuring out about that, the satellite camp issue, was that 
They're, they want to try to level the playing field and have everybody across the nation on the same feet, on the same page. But if not, the SEC is going to do what everybody else is doing. It's basically if you can't, if you can't beat them, we're going to join them. Mm. So they're going to join them probably in 2016, a year from now, and have all these camps uh, spread out across the country. And the real loser here, is, you know, are the teams in Texas and Florida, Texas A&M and Florida, certainly, because those are the two most fertile recruiting grounds, certainly in the southeast area, and that's where everybody's going to go start poaching. So all of a sudden it makes it, it's going to make it a lot tougher for Jim McElwain when 13 of his colleagues are hosting camps in the state of Florida. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Jim McElwain, one final question from Mark Long, Associated Press. Someone you've been critical of in the past. I thought about you whenever he made a statement, I guess it was Paul Feinbaum's show, talking about his quarterback uh, situation. And Tom Schmitz and I were sort of marvel at the fact he talked for like, I don't know, a minute and ten seconds about his quarterback and never mentioned one single name. It's almost like, <laughs> like it was an anonymous person playing quarterback. Maybe it is his dog playing quarterback. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I personally – I like the guy, I really do, and I want to give him a shot here, but I just don't like the way he handles, uh, not necessarily the media, I just don't like the way he handles himself. And he's very vague, and it's intentional, and I get it. I get why he's doing it, but uh, I think it's going to wear pretty thin on not just media folk, but I think it's going to wear pretty thin on, on the fans who pay attention week in and week out when they're they're here. Here's a guy who... who refuses to talk with any detail across the board and as to what is you know he talks a big game about having a plan and this that and the other but but he doesn't go into any detail about what his plan is so i just think you know that my thought is that it's going to wear thin maybe maybe it will and it, and here's the thing it doesn't matter if it wears thin or how people perceive him if he wins yep. it's not going to matter one bit and if he wins all will be forgotten and forgiven and nobody will care but if he loses, it makes it very difficult to uh, reach out and, you know, have a relationship with people you are correct, when you're uh, in vague. Yeah. Exactly yeah. right. Mark Long, Associated Press. Thank you for your time, Mark. Appreciate it. Take care. Anytime, buddy. Thank you. All right. We'll take a break. Come back. Tom's got headlines. Dave Pingalore will join us on the other side. Maybe he's got a thought on this Saturday's Triple Crown race. Looking more and more like we're going to have a Triple Crown winner. Coming up next right here on the Voice of Ocala Buddy Sports page. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Do you remember when summer was a celebration? You know, no schools, no worries, just days packed with your favorite pastime. It was the splendid season you dreamed of all year long. But as you got older and busier, the summer seemed to lose its sparkle. Where did those carefree days go? Well, they're closer than you think. Summer's still sensational at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club, where you can come out and play the grown-up way with our affordable summer memberships. Enjoy our championship golf course celebrating the game's greatest holes, hard true tennis courts, and a state-of-the-art fitness center. Explore our stately 77,000-square-foot clubhouse and unwind at our relaxing spa. Don't forget the pool! It's a summer unlike any other, and it's yours with a Golden Ocala summer membership. You can call Golden Ocala at 629-6229 to inquire about a summer membership, or you can visit goldenocala.com to learn more. That's goldenocala.com. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of auto check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige. It's all there in our name. If you need a sign or a banner for your yard or your business or your campaign, I'd recommend you go to Signs Unlimited at 318 South Magnolia in Ocala. Screen printing, embroidery, digital graphics, do what I did when we needed signs for the Save the Marion Theater Group. Go see Vic Buttermore at Signs Unlimited if you want quality work with a fast turnaround from somebody who is deeply committed to his community and always ready to assist you. There's a reason Vic's slogan is, it's our business to make your business better. Sign up for Signs Unlimited. Call 732-7341 today. 
Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey Checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you, too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. <laughs> Tell her you love her at least three times a day. I love you has a very short shelf life. We get used to sleep deprivation. After a while, our brain starts to think it's normal because sleep loss affects the part of our brain that controls self-awareness. We may be too zonked to know we're zonked. All right, here we go, ladies. The uh, latest beauty treatment is shaving your face. It's supposed to make you look younger. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. You know, uh, the long drought between Triple Crown winners could very well be over as of Saturday. As the field goes to post, I haven't looked at the field yet. Tomorrow we'll have Michael Compton on. We'll break it down for you. American Pharaoh looks much the best, as we mentioned yesterday, has had incredible, apparently, workouts going on in, in Belmont if that means anything, and it does to horse people. Um, and <clears throat> it'll be sad if it happens because, obviously, affirmed from right here in Ocala was the last horse to win the Triple Crown. Uh, and now American Pharaoh could possibly break that. I'm pulling for him. I'm pulling for him. I'm pulling for, really, for Bob Baffert, who was a terrific horseman, a big supporter of Florida Thoroughbreds. I heard Bob Baffert speak at a... Florida Thoroughbred Beaters um, uh, dinner one time in the last couple, couple years ago. And uh, he talked about the great value of Florida horses and how he gets them, how he comes down and he buys quite a bit of horse flesh from down here. So I'm rooting for Baffert. He's had a couple of close calls. He's had it, it, that elusive triple ground. But by the same token, uh, he's got plenty of horse. And it's probably his turn. He's a more of a derby guy. If he if it comes down to winning a derby or you know winning if you said you're going to triple crown but you never win another derby I think he'd say no because he loves the Kentucky Derby but uh, Bob Baffert has a shot at it real shot at it by all descriptions from uh, New York and Belmont uh, this horse is looking fit and I've seen him come into Belmont though before and things happen yeah I mean a safety pin in the hoof or you know something happens in the stall or. Just weird things happen. And there's so many things that happen. It seems like there's a jinx there. It's just difficult, if not almost near impossible, to win those three races. But unless something happens between now and then to the horse in some fashion, it comes up sore, 
<clears throat> or whatever, uh, I think that's going to happen. Uh, he'll be attempted to become the 12th Triple Crown winner. Uh, and if, he, if he's unsuccessful, he'll become the 14th horse. 14th since, triple, since it was won by a firm in 1978 to have won the Derby and the Preakness, but not win in New York. 14 times, including Silver Charm from right here in Ocala. Right there, I talked about it on the show a lot, right there at the, at the finish line when Touch Goal came around him and beat him by head. Uh, we still say if, if it hadn't the fact that there were blinders on and if, if, if the horse, if, if, a, if he could have seen Touch Goal coming around him, Silver Charm, I do think that uh, I don't think he would have let him get him past him, but he, he did. So big story. Um, uh, and we'll see what – let's go out to the hotline and see what our friend Dave Pinglower has to say down there in Orlando. He's been under the weather lately. He's back now. And it's a good week to be back because we've got hockey coming up. Uh, we've got NBA basketball. We've got Gator softball and baseball. And we got a triple crown coming up on Saturday. David, which one of those will get your interest, Dave Pinglower? Oh, my. It's been a while since you guys had me on. I was sick last week. How you feeling? Um I'm feeling much better. Was it bronchial? I've not died what, was, yet. what was it, bronchial? Oh no, you it was not it had nothing to do with my throat. Okay. All right. I mean, it was everything with my stomach. Okay. And we and we'll just leave it at that. All right, I got you. Montezuma's It was a stomach problem. Okay. Montezuma's but, revenge. Well, we're glad you're back. Right. I'm back. I'm back He's in the back. saddle, ready to He's go. Back. Speak of the saddle. It looks like you want a triple crown. Uh, Listen, I, I'm nailed, I'm, I nailed the superfecta the last two races. Yeah, our very own Jamie Say is giving me the winners every time I've I have played this. Hmm. I hit the superfecta for 1906. Really? Yeah. Uh, no wonder no, no one you got sick last week. You went out and partied. Partied <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Too much Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. So I don't know who's going to win this weekend though. I have to. I have to have Jamie. Give me the picks to let you know. Dude, you can't pick your own horses? No, I have given up on picking horses. But I think um, American Pharaoh does win the Triple Crown. I think you're right. And, the, uh, you know, of course, we won the last one. A firm from right here in Ocala. Frosted, Frosted is going to give him a lot of trouble. I've Frosted. seen that. I, I've, Frosted, huh? That's Is that who you're picking? No, I'm going to pick American Pharaoh. Officially... On your radio show yeah, in Ocala, yeah, yeah. mark it down, everybody. Yeah. American Pharaoh will be the most underwhelming Triple Crown winner ever because no one's even talking about this horse could win the Triple Crown. Yeah, and <clears throat> I'm, I have mixed emotions about it. I think he's going to win. <clears throat> in fact, I will tell you, after the Derby. Four lengths. Buddy, four lengths he wins by. That's a lot. Uh, it's a longer race, as you know. He shows uh, ability to hold off horses at the end, which indicates he can run a good Belmont probably. But I said that to see him in the Derby. I told Tom, this is a trip that could be the triple crown winner. I think he might do it. He, uh, he's a good-looking horse. He has plenty of the left, and he's getting brilliant rides, by the way, too. So I, I'm, I'm going to be watching him with interest this week. All right, so have you seen any Have you seen any of the Gators softball team? I watched the game uh, a little bit last night. Very exciting. Uh, there was a mistake at third base by the runner from wow. Michigan. We're terrible. Would have scored the tying oh. run on the double play ball. That was poor third base coaching. They teach that in a little league exactly. in softball. Little exactly. League. That was a horrible decision. I was. I, I was a horrible. That should have been a tie game. But you know what? Go Gators! I said. But I also thought he was. She was out at first base. They sh- they should have shown that that replay because I couldn't tell from that angle. It looked to me like that was a double play. Uh, at least in my naked eye. Did you think so? They didn't argue. I thought, it, I, thought, I, I thought from what I saw, she was out at first base as yeah. well. But the, run, the runner at third made a complete mistake. No doubt about it. And for, that fact, poor girl couldn't sleep all night. Well, they should have fired the third base coach after that. that well, co- I mean, it's still college, college soft. I don't know if you're going it's to the horrible mistake. fire. Either. Horrible mistake. Really bad. I know the head coach was not happy. No, she was not but happy. But it's fun to watch. It's exciting. It's uh you know, they got a chance tonight to win a World Series. Yeah. Yeah. I never thought I'd say it, but I enjoyed that more than many baseball game I've seen in a while. Uh, a lot of good defense, great pitching, and, of course, the babe. What is it, 72 home runs now and 71 wins, or is it the other way around? What is it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, she's been brilliant. Those, those girls are some very good athletes for sure. All right, David, give me a pick and go while you got you. Give me your pick. You don't have to pick the NBA yet. Give me a hot, give me a Stanley Cup winner. Well, I got to pick the NBA because I'm not going to be on the show. It's, it starts Thursday. I can give you two picks. You All ready? Right. All right, go ahead. What do you want first? The NBA? Give me the NBA right now. Golden State in five or six games. Okay. Without without an all star type of Kyrie Irving, and certainly no, they can't they can't compete with Golden State. How about Clay Thompson? No way. Uh, the the Cavs they're not winning that series. No okay. way. All right. I, and yeah. as for the NHL, yeah. now look, we all know I'm always wrong at this, and I'm going to take out my easy button tonight to randomly select the winner of the Stanley Cup Finals. All right. But I'm going to I'm going to go with the home state team. Okay. Go Lightning. Got to go for the lightning. Got to go for the lightning. You know, I'm I'm not with you though on the basketball. I think LeBron carries it all. They're right. not. No, <clears throat> no. I think Cleveland pulls this one off. I know that Golden State's wonderful. They got some unbelievable talent. Obviously, Curry Curry's out of this world. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't call him the next Michael Jordan or the Michael Jordan, but he's Jordan esque in some ways. He's a phenomenal shot. He's got as good a shot as I've seen in the NBA. You know what Vegas? You know what Vegas has on uh, Cleveland to win that series? What? Plus two twenty. Wow! That's how big of an underdog they are. Wow! That's well, a big underdog. It is. It is. So you're going. Mean, you're going. You're going with with, with going with, I'm going with. I'm going with Cleveland, uh, and I'm, we're both going with the Lightning. And I think you owe me four steak dinners from the Tiger Better three years ago. <laughs> I, I, I probably, I mean, you know what? I mean, you're, you're probably right. I'm. Uh, well, Tiger Woods was one former bet we yeah, had. Oh yeah. Well, you should. I, I owe you guys. You know what I do owe you? I owe a trip up there on a Tuesday you sometime. You should have been here when Terry Bradshaw was in town. He took us to dinner. The great had a great steak. So. Uh, did this, you really? Yeah, we did. David, thanks very much, buddy. We'll watch you tonight on Local Six. Dave Pingalore. All right. Have- Local Six, our local sports anchor. Coming up next, we'll talk more about the NBA and about hockey and other things right here on Buddy Sports Page. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're O'Kellaforsale.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Radio. I'm Karen McHugh. The Senate passes the domestic surveillance reform bill known as the USA Freedom Act. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell voiced his support for amendment changes that did not pass. It does not enhance the privacy protections of American citizens, and it surely undermines American security by taking one more tool from our warfighters, in my view, at exactly the wrong time. The measure now heads to the White House. In Boston, a terrorist suspect being watched by police is dead. As cops confronted him, they say he pulled out a knife. Police demanded he drop it. They kept retreating. 
verbally giving commands to drop the weapon, drop the weapon, and at some point the individual proximity came close that the officers were in danger, uh, their lives were in danger, when two officers discharged their weapon. Police Commissioner William Evans, stocks end the day lower, the Dow fell 29, the Nasdaq lost 6, the S&P shed 2 points. Fox News, we report, you decide. And now another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. A man told his wife he only wanted a nice card this Father's Day. So she went to Golfsmith and got the new tailor-made arrow burner iron set and a free $100 gift card. He was overwhelmed by the thoughtfulness of the card and couldn't really blame her for keeping the irons for herself. Hurry into Golfsmith from now until June 28th and get a free gift card of up to $100 when you purchase a new tailor-made arrow burner club. Golfsmith, anything for golf. Your local pharmacist is also a HealthMart pharmacist, and they're not like other pharmacists. After mom's surgery, I was overwhelmed, but I was so relieved. Her HealthMart pharmacist was there to help. They explained her medication and even delivered to her house. Mom got the personal service she needed, and I got something even better. Peace of mind. Visit HealthMart.com to find a locally owned HealthMart pharmacy near you. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. The unofficial kickoff of summer's here, and let's celebrate by heading to Ford Lincoln of Ocala during your Stay Home and Drive sales event. Wait a minute. Stay home and drive? What's that about? What better way to kick off summer than in a new Ford? Right now at Ford Lincoln of Ocala, you could save thousands on their massive 2015 Ford lineup. And the selection has never been better. You can still get 0% financing for 72 months on most new Fords and deferred payments for up to 90 days. The choice is yours. Fight the traffic and the overcrowded beaches only to come home with a sunburn and an old car full of sand or revel in that beautiful new car smell. Oh, you got me with that new car smell, not to mention that sand you'll find in your... Well, never mind. Enjoy all the festivities surrounding this great American holiday, but don't lose sight of the true meaning of Memorial Day. Take a moment and remember all those who courageously fought for the freedoms we all cherish. Kick off summer right. Head to Ford Lincoln of Ocala for their Stay Home and Drive sales event where the best part of summer will be driving home in your new Ford from Ford Lincoln of Ocala. Start by visiting FordofOcala.com. Auto buyers or Fords qualify for 0% 72 month financing. See dealer for complete details. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. Cookies, 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 cookies. Wait, when you cookie, want something cookie, special cookie. and fun for any occasion, get cookies. That's right. The Great American Cookie Company in the Paddock Mall, Ocala, will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. You might notice that I said fun and delicious more than once. That's because I can't say it enough. The next time you're at the mall, be sure and stop by or call 352-237-2557 to place your order. Cookies, cookies, Yum. cookies, cookies. We go cookie-eating cookies. The Great American Cookie Company. Welcome back to Buddy Sports Page. Going to give you the headlines today in sports. After a long absence, this according to shutdown corner Sean Cooper of Yahoo Sports, after a long absence, Adrian Peterson returning to the Minnesota Vikings. He said, I've been away from the game an entire season. I wanted a chance to be around the players and coaches, guys that really matter to me. He, uh, uh, as you know, was suspended all of last year. Uh, for child abuse charges. Um, he says, I understand the business. Clearly, there are a lot of emotions involved, but I'll only be better from the situation. I have a role to play. The Vikings have one as well. It's time to move forward, put my energy and focus on preparing for the season. What that sounds like to me, buddy, is Adrian Peterson listened to Coach Zimmerman when he said, you're under contract for us, you're either playing for us, or you're not playing, period. Could be, but, you know, they're also the Vikings in that new stadium now, and they need everything they can get. They need every, everything they can do to – you know, to attract people in that stadium. Uh, and Peterson, of course, is is a huge sports f- figure in that town. And the, let's not forget the Vikings need Peterson. Yeah. 
and eat him. And I think he's, you know, obviously he's a great running back. He's under a huge contract for a running back. Thirteen million dollars yeah, guaranteed. Running backs this year. just don't make that kind yep. of money, especially know? over thirty. That's a quarterback. Uh, well, he's only thirty now, but I mean, it's a uh, it's a lot of money for any player, but a lot of money for a running back. So he'd be wise to get in there and get that money however he can. Sepp Blatter, FIFA's long-time, long-time president, won a fifth term as president just last Friday, seemed to feel vindicated in two victory speeches he gives, yet after another round of bribery scandals have beset him and his organization. As you know, the recent U.S. Justice Department indictments led to arrest nine of his closest associates. Well, he resigned today. Yeah, I don't get that. He said that he'll be resigning as soon as an extraordinary FIFA Congress is elected to the successor. Yeah, I, I think... There's something else to that story, obviously. They got the goods on him or something because he was all cocky about, you know, being the guy who was, what did he say, was the president of all the people or something? Right. He didn't explain what triggered his rep- resignation. A part of the FBI, inv- FBI investigation that led to DOJ's indictment, however, has accused South Africa of buying votes, which include the United States that ultimately landed at the 2010 World Ten Cup. $10 million, so. I think, right? So, yeah. Uh, but do you like this uh, or not? The Tampa Bay Lightning playing another st- round of Stanley Cup playoffs means it's time for another round of visiting teams to learn that they're not allowed to wear their jerseys in places inside of Tampa. The Bolts ticket policy is twofold. They restrict their sales to certain Floridian zip codes, but this is this is also what they also do. Uh, Chase Club Lexus Lounge ticket holders, even if you have bought those tickets online, that for the 2015 NHL Stanley Cup, you're only allowed to wear Tampa Bay Lightning apparel or something neutral. Fans wearing visiting team apparel will be asked to be removed them while in the areas or will be put in other seats if available. But no refunds will be given if the fans refuse to comply. Well, let me put it like this. If they enforce that for the Rays, there'd be nobody in the stands. <laughs> yeah. Because you see Red Sox hats everywhere, and you see Yankee hats everywhere. I think that's a terrible move by the Lightning. I don't, I, you know, in one respect, I kind of admire the fact that they're sticking up for their, you know, their home home stand and their home home stadium and all that stuff. Uh, other side of it, it's just not doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, they know the only reason they're doing it is because they know more fans. There are more probably Chicago Blackhawk fans in the Tampa area with retirees, and all. And there might be Lightning fans. Well, I mean, they don't. You don't think they like to watch hockey too? I know. I mean, you know, they're <clears throat> what do you want? If they thought everybody has to sign a loyalty oath, they come in and saying, "I am tonight a Tampa Bay fan." It's the most ridiculous rule. I or mean, you, you can't sit in that area. We'll try to find other seats for you. If we can't find them, and you refuse to remove your jersey, you have to leave, and we're not refunding your money. And by the way, we're talking about tickets that are going for five hundred dollars a seat. Yeah. Well. Good luck. <laughs> Finally, have you noticed the University of so- Florida softball girls, buddy, the sunflowers they've been wearing in their hair what and stuff? What is the with that? I'm going to tell you. <coughs> the Florida uh, softball women's, they have an honorary team member. Seven, she, was, she was 17 years old last year when she passed away, Heather Brazel. She uh, passed away from brain cancer, a recurrence of brain cancer. She had been adopted by the team and for five and a half years was cancer-free. She died 10 weeks earlier than uh, of complications from brain cancer from last year's uh, World Series show. In the outfield before the first game of the World Series, a yellow butterfly landed right next to uh, pitcher and first baseman Lauren Hager. She said, I was like, oh my God, that was Heather. Because Heather's signature color was the yellowish gold of childhood cancer awareness. So the players now wear yellow hair ties, yellow elbow guards, and sunflowers in their ponytails in honor of their honorary member, uh, Heather Braswell, who tragically died of brain cancer. So if you were wondering, <coughs> it's a very, very good reason they wear the sunflowers. It's a nice story. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe I missed a chapter somewhere along the line, and I know this has been going on. Since when is it to use okay to use all kinds of props in dugouts? These, these women's softball, I mean, they bring out some gear. In a way, it's kind of fun to watch, but... Isn't there a limit about what you can do? No, no. Their cheers and the stuff they slap around and the noise oh, the they make. the gear they put on. Oh, yeah. That's all part of softball. Well, it's never been this this rampant and uh, everywhere you go. If you if – you, I've, I've, I've followed college softball for the last 10, 12 years since I adopted the girls' softball team and they, Mellow Mushroom was their hangout. And 
It, it, it's it's an armed forces type deal they put on all the time. Well, it's more than I've ever seen. I put it that way. Uh, well, they need to wear more. Did you see the picture from uh, the picture that got shotgunned in the face, it, it hit the temple in the College World Series? I forget what college she was from. They need to put face guards on the pitchers at least, so they don't get that line drive right back to the head. They're only fo- they're forty five feet away when they start. When you they don't finish mean shotgun, it. you mean line drive. That's what a shotgun is. She was line drive. Well, shotgun to me is a gun. Well, but shotgun in softball no. parlance is you got hit by hit by a ball off the bat, and they start at forty five feet. And by the time they get done with their stretch and deliver the pitch, they've slid to the up part upper part of that circle. They're only about 32, 33, 34 feet away from that batted ball. Well, it's bizarre. I tell you, there's even in in men's baseball. Uh, I know that uh, there was one order I see last night. Oh, pardon my interruption. They showed a picture of three guys with chairs on their head in baseball. Did you see them? <laughs> no. They had, no, they had these lawn chairs, and they all were balanced on their head. They're all looking nonchalantly at the field with the chairs. In the dugout. Going. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. How far can you go? Is it, can you get water balloons to start throwing them around? I don't know. I mean, what can you do? Well, I don't know. The, the dugout's a pretty crazy place, buddy. You know, though, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the garb they wear into the plate, though, is starting to – you know, Barry Bonds was the worst at it. He had on all kind of guards and everything. Armor. Yeah, but, I mean, like somebody like Giancarlo Stanton, who got hit in the face last year by a fastball, I understand why he has that hard plastic guard. But, you know, I, they're starting to look more like field hockey players and lacrosse players than they are softball and baseball players. Well, they get hit a lot. Well, Florida, I think, led the nation in getting hit. And yes. uh, they get on base that way. <clears throat> well, Here's a stat for you. The team out of the eight women's teams – that had the least amount of home runs going into the World Series? The University of Florida. The team that leads the College World Series with the most home runs hit? Florida. University of Florida. They're hitting a long <laughs> ball. They definitely are playing a long ball. And, you know, it's it's funny how the softball is played today, and so much of it is just slapping the ball down to the ground, and, and it's smart. Legging it out. Smart. Yeah, it's smart to do that. Um, and, of course, you hit for power like Laura. I don't know what to think of um, – Lauren Hager. Lauren Hager, and she is a, she can, she's incredible. She can bring it from the from the mound, and she can just crush the ball. She can. Three that home runs. Three RBIs last, last night. She all accounted for all the runs. That home uh, run she hit last night was a bomb. Yeah, and Dan Walt got a team really well coached. They know where to throw the ball. They have a backup. You see them throw an errant throw. There's always a backup there. They are really well coached. But team. you're right. Michigan should have should have went to extra innings at least. Blew it. They had a chance to do that and. They got a gift for the third out, in my opinion, and then of course they wind up like they did, not sending home that. What were they thinking? You, clearly, they would. He would have made it. You got a break when they're turning that double <clears> play. You can't yeah. assume the double play. You got to <clears> go home. You never go back unless you think it's a line drive. I think she thought it might be a line drive at first. She started going back, you know. But uh, now that was a boo boo. That was for sure. That didn't work out very well. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, all right. So, uh, what do you think of all this stuff about Dwayne Wade? You know, he's getting kind – of, he, and, he and Pat Riley are not getting it off exactly, and there's a lot of people who think Dwayne Wade needs to get paid. Look at all the times he took a salary cut. Uh, he's He's been the guy. Let's, I'll take less money so we can get LeBron. I'll take uh, less money so we can get Bosch, whatever. Uh, and now he wants to get paid, and, he, and he, of course, he's past his prime. He's uh, getting up in his 30s, and uh, he's not – they're apparently not able to come together on this deal. There's one story out now saying that the Heat might want him to opt out because they think they got a chance for Kevin Durant. Do you think there's any chance that the that the Heat could get Kevin Durant? They have the money to if they do the books right, but the problem is they don't have anything to go around Kevin Durant. And Dwayne Wade, I'm sorry, I I'm, I, I I like Dwayne Wade. I, I understand that he's done things good for the team and all. But you're not worth $20 million a year now. And if you want to opt out. Or opt in. <clears throat> if, if you want to opt, you know, he can opt out. He he wants to, according to Miami Herald, he prefers to opt out of the second year yeah. that's worth $16.1 million and get his delayed payout by signing a new right. three-year deal. Right. But if he doesn't <laughs> sign a new, if he wants to opt out, if I'm the Miami Heat, it's smart business to say, all right, Dwayne, see what you can get. Have a nice life. We enjoyed it. Because he's not getting sixteen point one million from anybody else in the league, and not that he's damaged merchandise. Now he missed what ten games last year or more at least. Uh, there's no question he's been a great player for for um, 
uh, for the Heat and, and a selfless player. He's given a step back and gave uh, almost too much, gave the spotlight to uh, LeBron uh, for the good of the team. They won championships. And in the end, what does that get you? It gets you in the situation he's in right now where, you know, he wants a contract and he's probably not going to get it. So apparently, according to the, the Herald and Dan Levitard, the best deal is to re-sign Goran Dragic uh, and, and, and then followed by re-signing Hassan Whiteside and go after Kevin Durant. Well, if they if they do if if Dwayne if Wade would do another team friendly maneuver, they could do that. Durant, Bosch, Goran Dragic, and Hassan Whiteside, and keep Dwayne Wade, and that'd be your starting five: Durant, Wade, Bosch. Goran Dragic and Hasin Whiteside. The only one that doesn't seem to fit in that group to me, buddy, is Dwayne Wade. Why would Kevin Durant want to leave Westbrook in the squad he's got in Oklahoma City? Billy Donovan is the coach. He may not. It all depends on how the Billy Donovan is able to convince Kevin Durant he needs to stay. Well, it's about the money, but I mean, right. he's going to get a max contract either way. Well, but, he may not get a max contract from Oklahoma City. Well, let's. He may not get one from Miami. Either. He may not either, but he, he's going to get a max contract from somewhere. And a lot of people say the allure of South Beach is drawing Kevin Durant in. These guys he's remember. Not, he's not a South Beach guy. Oh, he so is. Oh, Durant, oh. like, Durant, like, he likes that kind of. He's a very laid back, but he likes to go to the clubs and he's laid back and all, but he's a club guy. And South Beach offers that a Where little bit at Oklahoma from? City. Where are you getting that from? When you see him go out to New York and all, he's in the New York nightclubs. <laughs> well, he's different. in Miami nightclubs. <clears throat> South Beach is a little different. <clears throat> well, we'll see. We'll get somebody on with the heat. We'll be able to tell us about that. Get Levitard uh, on. Let's just get Dan on. You and him are good buddies. I, I'm not a, I'm not good friends. I'm not friends with Levitard. I like his show because you have to hear it every now and then. You like his dad more than anything, his, his uncle more than anything He's else. good. Let's take a break, come back, we'll finish up, and catch a call up for the night. Give the information on tonight's games and uh, let you know what's happening in the world of sports right here on Buddy Sports Page. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. He was planning for it. The source. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National magazine and she also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz hi i'm state farm agent angie lewis come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district 416 east fort king street or call 291-2444 If you've been hearing about the crowded Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Louisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Legware sunsets. Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Legware. Seating now available. Recently on Southern Pigskin Tonight, Coach Steve Spurrier talked about quarterbacks going into spring practice. We don't know who it's going to be yet, buddy. we got three that will fight it out this spring. I doubt that I will name one at the end of the spring because we got an incoming freshman, Lorenzo Nunez. It's a tremendous athlete, good runner, and good passer. So join us every Thursday at 5 p.m. for Southern Pigskin Tonight right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Local Graphics would like to invite you to their second location on 200 next to Sunny's Barbecue. They are officially open to help you out with all your sign, vehicle, wraps, and printing needs. Visit them and mention this ad for free business cards. Need a logo? We've got you covered. From business cards all the way to menus and flyers. Now two locations to better serve you. On Maricamp, half a mile east from Forest High School. And on 200 by Sunny's Barbecue. Local Graphics, impacting your customers. Like us on Facebook. If you're a man who deworms with Synanthic, your boots probably look as good as this sounds. But if you're a man who doesn't use Synanthic, 
then your boots undoubtedly look as terrible as this. Because only Synanthic delivers the ultimate in parasite protection with low volume and less waste. So dewormer goes only where it's supposed to, and not in your boots. Synanthic is also fast, which means less handling time, less stress on your cattle, and less mess for you. So you can deworm more efficiently with less dewormer. And with peak blood absorption in only 20 hours, Synanthic blows away the competition and keeps working longer than the leading brand. Be a Synanthic man and get more deworming done with less dewormer. Visit your local animal health supplier and pick up Synanthic today. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. This is James Snyder inviting you to join me each Sunday morning at 9.30 for Sunday Joy on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We are the source. W-O-C-A. talk much about baseball. I watched a little bit of the Gators in their, in their finale against FAU. Uh, game they won handedly. Boy, they got loaded with, they're loaded with the pitching. They got plenty of pitching. And they're going to have a really good matchup <clears throat> in the Super Regional. Tom's going to pull that up. But I, Florida and Florida State won't draw each other, I don't think. They'll be in opposite brackets in the Super Regional, I think. Nobody ever, but, ever. Well, but they're in the same region, but they're not in. The Super not, Regional is just them two. It they is? They each other, yeah. They are? Yeah. I thought there were four teams in the no, Super Regional. No, no, two teams in the Super okay, Regional. Okay, so there's Florida two teams. Florida State. Okay, so it is, it, is it, it's three is it games, three best games. Best of three. Best of three. Okay. I have to catch up on these formats. So, they'll play probably Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, I imagine, huh? If there's I, three I'm games. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. And I haven't kept up much with the FSU's baseball this year, but uh, obviously they came out of their uh, their regional in Tallahassee, and and now we're going to see the Seminoles and the Gators play. And I haven't watched Gator baseball very much this year. But they got a lot of arms. I know that. And uh, they're going to have to go a long way to get the thunder <clears throat> from the girls. Because right now the Gator softball team is kind of the darlings. Uh, and they they could be national champions tonight. Game starts at 8 o'clock. I'm going to watch it. By the way, I happened to check my direct TV yesterday just in passing. I noticed that my channel that the, base, the softball game is on was dark. Somebody from direct TV had decided – to pull the plug on about eight of my sports channels. Huh. For reasons that we know or not why. I got on the phone and was finally able to get that straightened out just in time and enjoyed watching that game last night. You got the schedule, Tom? Florida State plays number four Florida at <laughs> 7.30 p.m. Friday, June 5th. Then uh, let me see when they play them again. Saturday. Saturday. Uh, I don't see what time, though. It's to be determined. Yeah. No, I think they play them Sunday. Yeah. But doubleheader Sunday? Well, no, no. It yeah. says it doesn't have them playing Saturday, but it has them playing Friday and Sunday. So I guess they're going right. to play Saturday. <laughs> well, got to play three games. So right. I think. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Or double limits. All right. Thanks to Becky Johns. Uh, also, Sunshine King of Mojos to David Del Rio, to Mark Long, the AP, to Dave Pingalore from Local 6. On behalf of my broadcast partner, Tom Spitz, I'm Buddy Martin. Have a great night, everybody. Are you one of those golfers that use the dot-coms to try to find the best deal available every day of the week? Well, why use a middleman? For $100, you can be a summer member at Pine Oaks of Ocala. And what do you get with your Pine Oaks membership? Well, you get to play all the golf that you want in the afternoons, and all you do is pay the cart fee. $8 for 9 holes or $12 for 18 holes. This is the golf deal of the summer. Don't miss it. That's the $100 summer membership at Pine Oaks of Ocala. 
Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. 